Alrighty, hello everyone. My name is once again Brian Brixman, and I'm here along with Ace Lynn Ace. And uh, soon, very shortly, we're gonna get the stream underway. We're gonna have Converse versus CSU today. Today we're actually streaming from a new location. We're we'll streaming from the eSports room currently. Hopefully we'll have some better audio this time. Hopefully my mic's fixed as well, and we'll um, hopefully the stream will have fewer hiccups as we did last time. So we're looking forward to it.
Hello? We on stream? Yes, we are. Okay, awesome. Brock, check your input device. And also, to anybody that's watching at the moment, we currently are on a delay. One of the players for Converse University had an emergency and they are trying to find their player. They asked to reschedule, unfortunately. That will not be possible for us. So if they cannot get their player within 15 minutes, that will be a forfeit. I uh, will keep everybody posted. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for hanging around if you just wanted to keep talking to the chat or not. It's up to you guys though. Thank you. All right, thank you, Drew. Also, Aislinn's mic is not picking up her. Yep, you're good. Yep. Well, you heard it there, folks. Um, we might possibly have a forfeit if uh, Converse cannot get their player in 15 minutes, which means it would be a loss for them and a given victory for CSU. But um, we're going to wait 15 minutes, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, so stay tuned.
So we do have news about the match. Uh, Converse will be going ahead with the game. They will be uh, having a sub sit in for one of their players though.
little bit more time, folks. Uh, we've had another mix-up of uh, the wrong map thing to pick, so we're just waiting a little bit longer. Interesting fact. My name is Brick, because my name is Brock. Let's change the vowel. That's my name. So yeah, that's a fun fact for them. As a lie, she just really likes steak sauce. Not correct. I did also try to look up fun things. Well, she didn't, um, didn't see anything really interesting, but fish can cough, apparently. I uh, don't know if that's true or not, but um, apparently they can cough. That'd be entertaining. Okay. Somebody here, fun. We're really yeah. just going to kill some time right now, just waiting on the game to be set up. We're really sorry about the delay. The game was supposed to start at 3. We had a multitude of issues, and right now we're just trying to get the uh, game to right now. So really, once again, we appreciate everyone's patience, and we appreciate just 21 of you guys already being in chat and being excited <laughs> for this game. We seriously do appreciate it, and we're super excited for this game. We're going to be this just as much. Thank you. It's just sad. Yeah, because they're fun, not because they're slow. I don't want them to be able to get my ears. Oh, interesting. When I first heard driving, I was like, Fear was like I would sneeze while driving, and for some reason I just oh, oh, it's like <laughs> and then I finally sneeze while I was driving one day. It's like, oh, nothing bad happens yet. So uh, yeah, a little fun fact as well there. We're really just trying to buy time once again, guys. Uh, we're just kind of really killing time. Hopefully this game gets started soon. It's seeming like it will, and as soon as it does, we'll let you guys know, and we'll get in there.
like to also just say, I hope all of you beautiful people are having an excellent day while we went to this game. Um, you know what? Uh, someone just did. So chat, while you're working on it, we would love to see some fun facts out of you guys. Anyone in chat has some nice fun facts? Um, please let us know. Okay. That's a that's a sad fact. Do sad. better. Yeah. We're also love to hear whoever your uh, favorite artist. Now, we can we play any of them? Huh. No, but I am quite curious and entertain me. Uh, we are sitting here and we're just waiting. Hopefully, we'll be starting soon. So, um, yeah. once again, just giving a little. Get copy right please stop. And he says, also the master of having a really quick laugh. She'll go, ha! And then she won't say anything. Ah! It's ah! 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 Alrighty now, and we'll finally begin loading into the first map, Fracture. And I'm gonna let Ace introduce ourselves once again, so it's, since it's been a little bit since we both talked. Alright everyone, my name is Aislinn, also known as A1, and I'm here with Brock and we will be your casters for this season. Alrighty now, now that we're in the map, Fracture, we're gonna start looking at some uh, player picks looking at the teams right now. So we have Converse currently versus CSU, so I know we're having a lot of confusing names once again, but just make sure we're distinguishing. Um, so last game we saw Fracture be an absolute dominant map for CSU, so I'm really interested to see how this is going to go for them once again. Now CPU is a really good team, but we saw CSU absolutely destroy Kennesaw State last uh, match, so sad to see this. We're going to see Hot Dog once again on the Neon. Um, a lot of the same operators it's looking like from last match from CSU. While we do not know much about CVU, we're going to see a Neon as well from them. I'm um, looking pretty similar to lineups. The only major difference is going to be the initiators with Winters going for a KO and we is going to be going for Fade last game we really saw csu take hold of this map and just really not give it up at all um it's going to be interesting to see if they're going to be able to do the same thing here oh yeah definitely for sure i mean it was like stop <laughs> last time going right into the map with our first pistol round that's a good spot We really can't catch a break with these names. First it was KSU versus CSU, and now it's KS or CSU versus CBU. Now, like I said, this is going to be the first pistol round, so really right now we're just going to wait to see how this round plays out for either team. Um, it does look like uh, CSU is going to be pushing on A site fast right now. It does seem like they have a little utility set up over there, but not many players peeking it, but I'm sure CSU is going to be able to come back from a hold on that. 
them down. Fade going right in with the Prowler onto this A site, trying to get as much information as she can. I'll find you. Well, it looks like CSU's about to have A site control. They're gonna have pretty much their whole entire team come from drop. Sigler's gonna blast a few shots but miss, but Hot Dog's gonna get the first frag on ice right there. The bomb is gonna go down. Currently a 5v4 for CSU. We see CVU currently right now sitting on this dish, waiting to drop until the time is right. One enemy remaining. We're gonna see a flurry of picks, but pretty much all of them are gonna go into way CSU. Is Gaunch is gonna be able to do anything? And no, it's not. But he's gonna pick up the last pick, and the pistol goes ground goes for the CSU. Right there. CVU not even getting close to the spike before they're mowed down by CSU. Oh yeah, it was it seemed like an extremely odd play for them all to stack drop two and just push through there. I mean, it's pretty much a chokehold, and CSU had all guns aimed at them too. So it was pretty much a slaughterhouse for them at that point. We're gonna be going into the second round. CSU is gonna be mostly buying full armor inspectors, and CVU is gonna be saving this round. Smart decision. Blinding. Even with CSU buying this round, it could go into the hand of CVU. If they play this right. Yeah, definitely for sure. Once again, we're going to see a pattern as well. CSU is going to get complete site control once again, and no one's going to get to see them. Seems like CVU wants to play together for these V takes, and it didn't really work out the first round, but let's see how it works out this round. That's definitely a sh different strategy going on, is instead of holding on to the whole map, they just pick a site and choose it. We see Arctic right now going on in the flank. We're gonna see some conflict between Hoodie and Arctic. Hoodie's gonna get the shot on the Arctic, and that's gonna be the flank secured from CSU. Bring them down. That's gonna be getting two frags from Tower right there. Which is gonna get two of them. Three critical kills onto CSU's players. Last one's gonna be in Tower. Pay's gonna get one kill, but are CVU gonna have enough time? No, they're gonna not. From that incredible Molly, and it's gonna be another round for CSU. And the last player from CP is going to go down to the bomb. Really Rip. right on the edge of not getting hit by that bomb there. Not sure if he exactly knew where it was going to defeat or go off to. Yeah, definitely for sure. Now, CSU did buy Spectres and uh, Full Armor right there. So their money's going to be looking a little precarious right here. So definitely going to be expecting something out here. But CPU is going to have two rounds lost. And they're going to be buying uh, Vandals and Full Armor for the most part. Seems like CSU's okay. really just kind of looking like they're going for another B flank right, uh, B push right here. We also wanted to let y'all know that this is currently our varsity game, but right after we're gonna have our JV game. Not much gonna be really going on at all. Looking like most of CSU is gonna be pushing towards arcade though. CSU is gonna have this uh, setup. CVU actually holding on to two sites now instead of just picking one and sticking to it. Definitely learning about their He's gonna back off. He's gonna get picked off by a hot dog. Incredible kill from him right there. They're gonna secure site once again, and he's just gonna be planting the bomb. Where are you? This neon wall right here really helping them hide while they plant this spike, making sure that they're not able to get anything in. There. No time. But he's gonna get picked off, sadly, but Gonch is right there. TV is gonna get that flank onto him right there. CVU's Blitz is gonna get a kill in the soup list. There's gonna be two more players still playing tower though. Gaunch is gonna push in really aggressively. He's not gonna be able to secure the kill, but Blitz is gonna get one. He's gonna be able to get the second. Last West is gonna be able to secure standing. that kill instead. Hot Dog's gonna get another onto one Arctic. Enemy remaining. It's gonna be a 1v1 for Hot Dog. Trying to play as much time as they can right now. Not seeing that Neon right there. Not gonna have enough time to defuse as another round goes to CSU with Hot Dog getting that kill onto Ice. <laughs> Hot dog himself, I'm gonna listen right around, but the round count's not gonna go 3-0 in his favor of CSU currently. Incredible tack we have so far. We saw this last time too. I mean, their fracture so far from what we've seen has been absolutely killer. Quite literally, actually. I don't think we've had any rounds so far where CVU has had one player remaining. Mm, definitely not. I mean, most of these rounds have just been going in the favor of CSU now. I will say, all these rounds have been incredibly close, except for the first pistol round. Last two rounds going down to the bombing plants in the 1v1 situations. 
the main enemy of CV are going to be the time, but there's going to be a lot of confrontation scenes between both teams here in spawn. Right now, we have the Fade, Neon, and KO ult all online. Quite good. Ah. Super's gonna get a kill on the Winter right there. Gonch is gonna trade back though onto Super Lizard. Arctic gonna be hit with a little bit of Fade utility. This Neon and Chamber right here. Order. Gonch is gonna get another kill on the Buddy, but Fade's gonna frag back, and so is Weez right there, gonna get a kill on the Arctic. That Chamber right there was fear. pushing pretty aggressively. Even though he was so low of health, the fade ult coming online right now as CSU holds onto this B site, trying to push in as quickly as they can. The pay currently planting. Site planted. The last few players of CVU, it seems, are going to be flanking through their spawn right now. It does seem like CSU is aware of that. This brim solo will really down. help right now if they needed to. Seem like it, but he is going to be using one of the smokes on B main to slow down the push. He does still have his, he does not have his molly. I know he does. This is extremely patient. We're going to see the brim will come out. Blitz is going to be able to get the kill on the Wiz, but it's not going to matter because that brim utility is going to be used, and that's going to be another round for CSU. I'm out of here. We do actually see one CVU player go, go, go. escape this round, and he's really gonna need that battle for the next round. The Brimstone ult there really comes in handy whenever just holding on to the site and making sure that they have enough time to let this- to not let anyone get the um, spike diffused. Yeah. Now we are gonna see a timeout finally from CVU. I mean, understandably too, this is four rounds back to back. I mean, it is only the first half, but I mean, if the coach is using the te uh, timeout this early, it's very telling of what some things might be going on in the team. Now, from what we understand, they do have a sub, so they are a little crippled currently at this point, but maybe CVU can take something out of this match still. It's interesting that they're calling the timeout so early. Only five, or four rounds in, sorry, about to go on to the fifth. Feeling a little bit of pressure coming from CSU. Definitely wanting to collect their thoughts and get back into the right mindset to where they might be able to take a couple rounds off of CSU. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially when you consider it in the fact that CSU is still going to have their timeout as there. well. I mean, CSU is using this timeout really early, and let's say even if CSU does start to come back from this, that means CSU can have a reset. And if they have, like, that there. kind of mental reset, I mean, CSU is going to dominate this. So you are going to finally be getting back in the game right now. So most of CSU is going to be setting up for uh, the main push, it looks like, and the team may be lurking, as we've seen in past rounds. They are going to have one player on B, we're going to have about four on A side, so it seems like they have a pretty good idea of what's going to be going on right here. Hoodie going in, watching this, this side, seeing a glimpse of Winter right there at Dish. But the rest of CSU team is going to be pushing on a B side right now. CVU Mark is going to get a pick on the west right there. Spike planted. Spike going down quite early. Being able to take this site so quickly as most of CVU was on the A site. Once again, it's going to be the same position for CVU like it has been in the past rounds where they have to do this retake. Let's go! right now, but pay able to hurt them a little bit. And the first round now goes to CVU, able to get their first on the map. Plenty of time to defuse. Well, not necessarily, but they were still able to get this, and I'm sure that this helps their mental quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to be going into the sixth round now, halfway into the half currently, so a quarter of this match is going to be through so far. We're going to see Cody going to the play? same flank Let's as he play. always does right now. KO Utility is going to be going out, we're going to catch Cody right there. 
CSU hot dogs being pushing on the A site extremely fast right now using his ult. He's gonna get caught with the chamber utilities. He's gonna take a little bit of damage from the Brimble, but he's gonna be able to survive and come out of it alive. Now we could currently see a battle of the Neon players. This hot dog and Gauntra are about to have a little confrontation from A main. I can get the two ways and fix right there. It's going to be opening up the same lot more for CVU. Now, well, CSU is set up a pretty well, but it's not going to matter. Gosh, going to get another kill. I'm going to get one of the hoodie, and they're going to be able to take Pate down. And that's going to be a second round for CVU. An absolutely great 4K right there from CVU's uh, notches. Another round for CVU, but it does look like CSU is going to be able to buy once again this round. One player, though, however, is going to be not playing with much. Economy not looking too hot right now for CSU, but they could possibly bring it back. Soup Blizzard actually going in with a share up instead of buying um, an AR. <laughs> And have Arctic turn extremely aggressive onto A main. He's gonna be aware of this. Hot Dogs once again is gonna be pushing into drop with sand. And Arctic's gonna get a great shot on the Soup Wizard right there. But Hoodie's gonna trade it back on the Gontes. It's gonna be the Neon down. Incredible player from last round. Not gonna be in this one. Really good pick from Hoodie right there. CSU rotating right now onto the street side to a place where there's less play or um, CPU players. It's gonna get an amazing kill right there on the brimstone. The on utility is gonna go down. Bombs it looks like it's gonna have to go down on the side. Hot dog following this prowler and making sure he clears the side there. One gonna get a pick on the wheeze right there. Seems like CPU does have an idea of where they're playing at currently. It's gonna be extremely lit, but he is still playing those boxes right there. The one enemy uh, 3v3 going on right now, but CSU is able to take it back. Incredible flurry of kills from them, making the score 5 2 once again. Especially considering the fact that Pate was so low there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Really good kills right here from Pate. CSU now going in for an A-side, it seems like, as once again, Hoodie oh, is holding this flank, trying to push into the backside. Now, CPU is going to have two players ready to drop right now. They're both going to be watching towards A main, though, as usually Neon does come towards drop, but it's not going to be happening this round. Amber is going to be coming from drop currently. It does not look like anyone's looking at him. Blitz currently holding an angle under foot. Is he going to be aware of this player right here? Two CVU players currently in Sands gonna be pushing into A main. But Blaze is gonna get an amazing kill, but Blitz is gonna trade it back on the hot dog. He's gonna get another kill, but a flurry of kills from Blitz right there. A 3k gonna really do some damage from CS. Pate's gonna get the bomb down. He does have his ult. So that could come in extremely handy right here. He's gonna be putting down the smoke. So is CVU. But he's not gonna be able to see what's going on from drop. Hoodie definitely blind here as this is going on. A 3v2 situation going right now with the chamber ult on CBU side online. We're gonna get the pick on the hoodie and Gonchez is gonna finish off pick right there, securing another round for CBU. A great attempt from CSU right there with the last two players. And you know, at the end of the day, you can at least be proud of getting the bomb down in a little time. Already going into round nine currently on this half. Uh, it's looking like a full buy from both teams right now. Suplus is still looking like he's having a little bit of money trouble, not gonna be able to really afford anything this round. CVU looking like they're gonna have full utility and full weaponry this this round. Now Gonchaz does have his ult, so that could come extremely handy during this round. Arctic also coming online with this off, trying to do as much damage as he can. 
the hot dog pushing down a main currently. Fatal coming in very, very quickly, trying to get an insight of what is going on in the site, how many players are there. Now, two players from CVU side are going to be uh, spotted by the Fatal, but it does not matter if you're going to get a kill on the paint right there. He's going to trade back there on the Gonchez, and that's going to be the player coming from Flint killed. But once again, it is another retake scenario. Any way of hot dog position, but this will not matter. It's going to drop down once again. Really just wasting CVU's time right now. I mean, even if Hot Dog dies, the longer he is alive and the more time he kills, the better he's gonna do. He's gonna be able to get a kick on the blitz right there. An incredible kill. Super is gonna be using some of his utility. Hot Dog gonna get another kill on the Arctic. He's gonna miss some of his shot, but it's not gonna matter. A 3v1 right here going on. Super Blizzard able to get this kill down. Or actually, sorry, Hoodie was able to steal it from him. <laughs> Impressive to see how much damage that Super Blizzard was able to do with that Sheriff in his hand. Game is going extremely quick. A lot different from last round, last match. Last match we saw a lot more sliver pushes, a lot more back and forth about what site we're going to go. We also saw last game, KSU wanted to hold sites more, but it seems like CFU, CVU is a lot more likely to want to do retakes. And it has worked out for them so far in some of these rounds, but most of these rounds not really going their way. John Chess is going to be playing a really aggressive towards A main. This could be the fact that CSU is more confident in pushing it onto these sites, but actually they're going for a slower methodical push right now, trying to switch it up a little bit and keep the enemy team on their toes. We right here holding this rope along with the rest of the team. Hoodie, on the other hand, slow pushing this B site, not knowing that Winter is sitting right there. It looks like Burp's gonna use one of the smokes towards A main, but it does not seem like they have the idea that smoke towards A main. We're gonna now, now with a burnt smoke going towards hallway. Gonna be taking um, tower control. CV is gonna get absolutely destroyed by Hot Dog. Buddy, you're gonna squeeze him to death right there. Hard to be popping off some shots, but it's not gonna really matter as nothing lands. What's gonna get a Brimstone ult is online along with the enemy team's uh, breach ult. Let's see a flurry kills. But he's gonna get a kill on the gun chest once again. But CVS Blade is gonna trade it back on the hoodie. Gonna have one player hallway and two in your generator. I'm gonna be a player aware of this one player in your hallway though. The bomb is gonna go down from Hot Dog. Here we go. Hot Dog's ult coming online. He dashes out of there, but is unable to do any damage with this ult before he gets shot down by Blitz. Pay able to get that trade. Prepared for one enemy now. remaining. Last player standing. A 1v1 situation going on right now. Ice very low. He's gonna be sticking. The Molly's gonna go out. And it doesn't matter. Pate's gonna be able to get the kill on the ice. And it's gonna be another round for CSU. Let's do it. Pate doing an absolutely great job that round. That 3k right there was very crucial to the way that that round went right there. Especially his utility use. I mean, the Molly and the ult just were coming together and really killing as much time as possible for CVU. That is what makes this game so interesting to me. Not only is it gunfight, but it's a use of utilities, and using those hand in hand really helps. Now, CVU is going to be buying only Sheriff's around, except for Gonchez, who's going to be buying a Vandal and some light armor. Hoodie seeming to really love this B site, these slow pushes with his op in hand. Finding. Super are going, going in the line here, trying to clear this hallway as much as he can before they do a full push onto the site. The hot dog once again doing an incredible job clearing A main as he always does spray for that box. Well, it does not matter. CSU's put a little utility on A main, but they're slowly backing off. But CVU going to be able to meet this. That is why it's so important to have Hoodie here clearing these sites slowly, giving them the option to rotate if need be. We are going to see one player from CVU on B site, but it does not matter as Pay gets to kill on the Arctic right there. Watching a slower game right now, definitely not what we're used to, as they definitely try to back off as much as possible. Smoke down. Winter alone on this B site. Off your feet! But he's currently turning the site. Neon's gonna push fast on the B site, he's gonna appear tower. 
Winter is up here. Is Hot Dog gonna be aware of it? He is, but he's gonna be aiming way too low. And Winter's gonna be able to get killing him. That is gonna be a gun for Winter to use right there. Supers are facing off right now against Winter as Winter drops down ropes. Trying to blind him, but unable to. Zoo Blizzard able to get the headshot onto Winter. We left up the Gonchas to get these last two picks. He's gonna miss the first one, and it does not matter. For Pape's gonna get another 3k to kill the Gonchas, wrapping up the round once again for CSU. Last round in the half. These frags that these players are getting right now, we constantly see a bunch of 3k's, 2k's, like back to back, which is really important. They're really showing, showing off their true potential and i want to point out pretty much everyone on csu is carrying their weight i mean there's not really one outstanding player currently and really it's telling of just how much of a good team they are because you know they don't need one player to carry because as long as every single one of them is doing their job they're going to win these rounds they're going to put it together now while we have seen a few incredible rounds from pay going into this next one right here Hoodie on Chamber, watching this B side, just making sure that they're able to rotate when it is needed. Facing off against Winter right here, Winter able to do a little bit of damage. Going back to this A side, Soup Blizzard getting the bomb down right now, holding onto the site as tightly as they can, not wanting to give it up. Backing off a little bit, actually, wanting to be able to push onto this site whenever um, the CPU touches the bomb. Hot Dog's gonna get a kill on the Gonchas. I soon get one on the West, uh, West right there, and Blitz gonna get one on the Hot Dog, making a 3 3 for both teams. So you're doing a really good job coming with this retake. You're gonna be able to finish him off. Drop the new smokes. Chem is gonna be a little bit useless right now. Super is just gonna be able to get on the Blitz, and Blitz is gonna be getting another kill on Super Blizzard. It's gonna be a 1v2 currently for uh, Brim. It's gonna be able to do it. Very intense going on right now, but CB knew Winter is able to take this round and, the, they, and they get the spike defused. It'll be 8 for half for CSU, so an incredible job for CSU right there. It really is. Being able to come back with that site, C, or CSU, sorry, decided to really back off from that one site where that, um, Hoodie was able to clear. Just having the option to rotate whenever needed is a great thing to have. As we switch sides right here, we can see how this might change. There! Like CSU's gonna be going for a much more standard. Instead, we're gonna have two players towards A, one gonna be watching the rope, and we're gonna have the chamber watching A long right there. Seems as though Hot Dog might go through a, pa a fast push right here, wanting to clear the site as quickly Maybe they're as pacifists. possible. Exactly what I guessed. Hot dog entering really quickly, wanting to get onto this spawn site. Here. Go. He's going to take out some of the chamber utility, making both of them aware of each other's presence. Chamber's going to continue to push up this. The CV is going to get a really quick plant onto A site. Spike planted. Go, go, go. It's interesting round as it's a 5v5 post plant. CV is going to get two picks into CSU, though. It's going to be the neon and the chamber both dead. Incredible picks right there. Flash out. Detrimental to CSU's cause, though, currently. Weez is going to be able to get the kill on the Archie right there, making it a little bit closer in round count. Not going to matter, Gonchos is going to kick on the Weez again. And Pate's going to get another one of the Blitz. A 1v2 going on right now. The Neon and Brimstone both low. Pate's up another connected shot. It's going to be the pistol round going towards CVU's way. Our last match, we definitely saw CSU being really good with these pistol rounds and not really giving any of them up correctly, if I remember. But right now, we see this change as they face off against CBU. Now, CBU is once again going to be doing the same thing, buying Spectres and full armors as CSU did when they won their pistol round. PSU going for a different play though, looking like they're not even going to buy Sheriff, except for Weez is going to buy a single Ghost, looking like they really just want to full buy this round. Super this round. able to get the pick on ice right after one of his teammates was down. Able to get that trade, which could be important. I mean, any kills for CSU this round is going to be extremely important, mainly because they're just rocking on pistols. So any money damage they can do to CVU, or if they can even take a round away from CVU, is going to be extremely, extremely important. 
they are going to smoke ropes and drop, and they're going to be pushing on the A site. Fade is going to be able to see them if they push. No, they're not. It's going to be smoke on top of Fade as well. Blitz getting the plant down. Spike plant. CSU not able to get onto the site as quickly as they want to since they are smoked out. Oh, three players are going to be pushing ropes. Okay, so we get a kill on the arch. I'm just going to trade some soup lizard. He's going to get another kill on the bunter right there. Last player there standing. Around from Tate. It's going to be him versus the last two players. Pate now picking up the Spectre. Not able to do anything with it as Gonch gets his third kill of the round. Gonch. Gonch. Gonchez. Seeing CVU start to pick up some more rounds. It's starting getting closer and closer. Out count friendly. at the scoreboard right now it is six to eight cvu making a bit of a comeback here well, we're gonna have four players stack on a and chambers find you settle by himself Still waiting. this is <laughs> smart because cvu is trying to currently do a slow push onto this a site from what it seems like really methodical right now it's, it's gonna be a push mainly from later right here we holding this right here getting the caps <sighs> Gonchas, but he's unable to get the kill. Smoke it to slow him down, but is it really going to slow him down? The utility is going to come up from Bremen, so is the neon wall. I thought I was going to pop off some shots, but it's not going to matter. Spike planted. So we're in extremely quick position. He's going to get one, not going to be able to get the second as ice kills him. Hoodie able to get that beautiful kill onto Arctic as he drops down from Rose. An incredible flurry of kills right there from Hot Dog and Hoodie. Just absolutely dominating them on A site. And it's going to be another round for CSU. Incredible clutch going from a 2v4 to 2v0 in a matter of milliseconds, it felt like. That was a very quick end to that round. Watching here. Again, CSU could be feeling confident right now, as so far things are looking really good for them. Oh yeah, definitely after an incredible round like that. I mean, their money still is looking a little precarious, but I mean, CVU's not really putting these rounds together so far, so it's going to be really interesting to see what's going to happen next. Hit them fast, hit them hard. Right now, we alone on this B site, as CVU continues to go to A site. We haven't seen much of a change with them um, since the sides have switched. Where are now we, we're going to see a change with the CSU though, because last time they had Hoodie on decent instead. This time they're going to have the fade of Weez right there in B. They do have KO towards B, maybe looking for a pick, and then they could possibly push on to B site, but it's not really like Weez is going to give it to them. We're going to have the Brim lurking and spawn, really just kind of, I guess, waiting for whichever side they're going to push. Really nothing happening so far this round. Soup Lizard going in with a blind here, wanting him, wanting his teammates to push him quick and try to get kills. Goncha is quite low right now. Seems like most teams are going to go to the Once again, a slow push going on as we see CVU kind of transferring on to this B side. I was getting a good pick on the ice right there. And while well, CVU is going to have sight, KO is going to come out. Gonchez and Weez is about to have some contact. Spike so we'll see wins right here. It's going to be Weez with a shorty, but Wunch is going to trade him right there. All of CVU being currently in tower is Arch dropped in the arcade. Spike is down. CSU yeah, she... wanting to push onto the site. We're going to see this smoke right here. It seems like they messed up. They have this little hole that they can peek through. And Kate might be able to catch Arctic right here. He's good enough. He's going to push on the site. He's going to pop some shots. Over. He's going to... The Molly's going to come out right there. The last two players are currently in the tower. One enemy remaining. Not looking like they're going to have enough time to use. Not going to have enough time. They are. The CVE Blitz going to be able to get the last two kills. Uh, securing the round for CVE. Incredible round right there for CVU as they were able to recover it. 
had the first pick onto them right there at A site and they rotate towards B, secure the site, and get the bomb down. And, and they were not allowed to see us to defuse. That was quite interesting to see, actually, especially since they had such a hard time planting this spike, really con um, committing to a single site. Launching smoke! Seems like he, he is going to be talking about this hard, fast push on the B site right here. Neon Mall is going to be going up. It's going to be a telltale sign of the B push. We found one. Gotta go. I see a brim ult coming out of Blitz right there on the tower. It does clear tower, but not many people are going to come out of it kill wise. CVU is going to get two picks on to CSU. Hot Dog going to be going down as well as Hoodie. Two incredible players so far. All three CSU players Spike right planted. now have their ult that they will be able to use, but not sure if they're going to commit to it as they put you back to this oh. side. Last player standing. Monta's going to get two picks on the CSU, and it's going to be a 1v5 situation. Okay, Easy. able to get this kill onto Gonchas. My players of CVU is going to currently be in A long. It's not really looking like they can do much right here other than save the woman. Hey, deciding to save here, realizing that the risk is not worth it, wanting to keep on to this eco, as CSU's um, money does not look too hot right now. Definitely going to be a save round from CSU after this, but maybe some confrontation from Ice and Pate. Not going to have any idea of each other's presence, so and it looks like Pate's going to get away with this. Another round for CVU right there, putting the score one closer to tying each other up, eight to nine currently. Gonchez for CVU doing a really good job, so from 21 of 13. It's interesting to see how they're closing this gap. The gap wasn't too extremely big in the first place, but it's still interesting to see them come back and be able to take these rounds. Smoke's down. Here we go! Looks like CSU should really just be going for these picks on the CBU. Pretty much most of their teams are going to be trapped currently. And that's the competition. Arctic going to get a kill on the hot dog ring. Not surprising currently considering the fact that CSU really doesn't have anything but a bunch of pistols. The only person having a rifle being paid. CBU really just sitting in the spawn right now. Might commit to B, but still unsure yet as they go for the slow push. Right here, we possibly going to beat them here. Able to get one down, but Gonchez is able to make this trade. Good kill on the Wii's right there. You need damage to CVU's economy is going to be really important in this round. CSU's not really going to be looking at the win right here, but more just to kill their economy. Out of charges. Brim. Brim. Molly is going to slow them down, pushing the main. It's going to fade away now. Could have probably been CVU. Off your feet! Rolling Thunder going online. Able to catch Pate, but other than that, do no more damage. Pate hey, stuck in this corner right here. 30 seconds left. Able to get this kill on Gonchez, which will definitely help a lot. Open up the sky. Ultimate going online. And it's looking like it's going to be a CSU Most round, down. possibly. Smoke's going to go down. They're going to have no idea what's going to be going on. It's going to have to push it. Is he really going to be able to? It's not looking like it. No, he's going to get a pistol kill in the Arctic. What BM right there. I would call that toxic, honestly, at this point. <laughs> Did he feel really good, I bet, after that kill right there. And it's going to be 10 rounds for CSU. Not allowing CVU to tie it up. We only need three more rounds for CSU to secure the map. This is definitely one of CSU's strongest maps. And the fact that CVU that is able to... Keep it pretty close is really interesting to see. As we saw last time, CSU completely wiped the floor with KSU. Oh yeah, definitely. The last match versus KSU really showed CSU's dominance on this map. It's getting really confusing keeping up with all these names, but it's looking like it's going to be a uh, CVU push. A name looks like they're going to be going fast. Not going to be able to pick anyone. Hoodie okay. able to get the first kill onto Spike Blitz. Down a. Oh, Chess is going to pick off matter though. No, Hoodie's gonna trade on the ice right there. Terrible kill right there from Hoodie. Making sure that CVU doesn't get a pick without them getting one as well. Now this is CSU's top frag down, but is it really gonna matter? We've seen how well each player from CSU can do getting these kills. Soup Blizzard backing up from his sands hold right there. As we see, um, 
CV you going for a rotate on the B. Dog is gonna get the kill on the contract, but one just gonna trade it. I thought it's gonna be aware of one just position right now. He's really getting mad. Chamber is gonna currently be on B. Do they know CV you has control site? Looks like to do is all the small things. Spike able, finally able planted. to go down. As hot dog hides behind this wall. I'll come dodge flash right now. Please be pushing extremely aggressive, getting a three carry currently. They're not really aware of Arctic currently in tower. Wanting to play for as much time as he can, able to get the pick on a soup lizard. It's a one v one. Might stick it. If he sticks it right, he gets defused. He gets the defuse! Wow! What an absolute throw from him right there! He really had to commit to that fuse right there, hoping that he had enough time before they um, peaked. A timeout going on line right now. What an incredible round right there from CSU, needing only two more rounds, but we've seen how CSU does when they only need two more rounds in the first map, so let's hope they don't do that once again. Now, CVU is going to be using another timeout in this game. They're really going to need it, too. It looks like after that round, CVU really gave it away. I mean, seriously, it was a 1v2 situation, and the CSU players towards the end of that round did not play together, but it does not matter, because if Arctic doesn't peak when they are defusing, they're going to defuse the bomb. CV is really going to need to use this timeout crucially, and they're really going to need to start putting some rounds together after this. CSU only needs two more, and currently CVU has killed the climb. Once again, that play from Hot Dog right there was extremely cool to see. The patience he had, knowing that he wanted to stick with defusing this bomb. Really just showing how much of a high caliber player he is. I'm out is going to be over and back to the round. We're still at 20 seconds for everyone to figure out what's going on. We're looking to possibly get another round after that round being a little disappointing. It might even possibly be in the head right there. Those last two rounds for CSU definitely looking like they were absolutely defeating them. Not really being able to do much. CBU's players are going to be spread out. Much going on. So most of the map is quiet. Hoodie sitting on top of this box on this A site, making sure that no one is able to pass through dish while Hot Dog holding onto halls. On the other hand, Pate and Soup Lizard have a pretty good hold as on the site as CVU slowly begins to push up. Yeah, it does look like CVU starts. Hey, I'm not hearing one right there. Watch it. They do have the breach currently watching the arcade push. Find out one of those players are there, you can get the call up to make it start rotating. Launching smoke! The smoke's gonna go down, CSU is gonna be now a win with this push. Spike planted. He and pop ups with a radar for you, and teleport help. Gotcha, getting this kill on this blizzard. Another onto we but he's able to get that kill back. We have three and five currently for CSU. Not looking really that well for them. Build a climb right here. Hoodie dropping this off instead of deciding to go smoke. for a vandal. He is going to drop the smokes, putting CVU in, under some pressure. Hoodie able, able to get that off shot onto Arctic. Very cool to see. Definitely rotating back now, wanting to save this money, knowing that they do not have enough time to defuse the spike. Very good play from CSU. An incredible pick from Hoodie right there on the ice. Oh, an absolutely insane shot right there. Doing damage to that economy, and that flick was absolutely What's beautiful right there, I must say. Yeah, an incredible kill. I mean, even a CSU does lose that round, they only get two more. Excuse me, knocking on wood. Currently hoping for them to get those last two. Right now, the CSU economy not looking too hot. Right there. Looks like it's going to be a forced buy out of CSU right here. You're going for the op. Hoodie's still holding on to this op. Thankfully not having to buy another one. Wanting to do as much damage as he can with that quite expi expensive gun, sorry. Team looking like he's in the cave. Once again, 
I know that you were lurking towards a main as the KO also towards that direction. Once again, Hoodie holding the site right here, making sure that nothing gets past Dish. CVUI is able to get the kill onto Pate Mob. Hot Dog able to make the trade onto Gonchos. He's gonna hit an incredible shot. I sneak them clearing decent. But he's gonna hit an incredible shot. Spike down a. Or drop. It's definitely gonna stunt the CV push more than it already is. Gonna wait for him. One enemy remaining. But he's gonna get another incredible shot to Winter right there. Living through the fire and the flames, the KO grenade. But he's not gonna be able to connect the last shot, but is it really gonna Already gonna be a lot of pressure. He is gonna be able to connect the shot on the hoodie. He is gonna be running for his life, it does not matter. Super Blizzard is able to connect the last kill to Arctic. Putting the skill at nine tail and match point for match CSU. Point. Wow, this game is honestly going great. CSU able to get that spike down before anyone can plant it is really awesome to see. Definitely. And CU's definitely gotta be in their head a little bit. Their back is up against the wall. They need to win three rounds in order to either secure this game or get overtime, but it has to be overtime now. CSU only needs one more round to win this. CU's gonna have to win at least five in a row to win. Not sure if they're gonna be able to do that consecutively, honestly. This could be a match going to see CSU. Really, oh, like, looking that way too, CD's gonna have to force by not even be able to uh, afford five vandals. One player only rocking with a sheriff and light armor. This yeah, might be detrimental to the, how they play right here, but the spike goes, up, goes down quite early. Down. It's gonna be a 5v5 plus point situation. Both gonna down. go down for CSU. Having a little bit more map control. Shimmer is watching this flank from Dish, but no one's going to be looking for that direction. I know he is not aware of that, but not much else he's going to do right now. CSU is going to be pushing on the side. Gonch is going to get an incredible shot. Super's right there. Gonch is going to get one on the page. Hop going to fit it back to Gonch, so I'm going to get another one to Wheeze. A 3v2 going on right now. All three CVU players hanging in that corner right there. A 1v2. Not gonna have enough time to defuse the spike as he decides to go. A dog is gonna hopefully be able to make the way this off it's looking like. No, oh. he is not off the thing. So 12. So close yet so far. And CVU is actually gonna have off now with Vertex here. We see a bulldog actually coming from CVU right now as they don't have enough funds to be able to give their um, agents full weaponry and full shield. CSU in the same um, right there. situation, not able to go on with a full buy. CSU also in a much more worse position. Actually, it looks like a strategic play. Hot Dogs look like he's going to be used to ult, but he does have a ult as well. We're going to be slowed down by the reach utility. It is going to get one kill in the blitz Spike right there. B. Incredibly good early kill from the map. Spike down, but not for long. As Winter picks it up. He's going to need the smokes to see you down. An incredible rookie kill. Monchez is not really... Monchez is going to get two in the motion off on the CSU right there. But they really don't have much clue what's going on. They're going to get a really good kill on the Arctic. He backs up roads as well as the dog on the winter. Down, Hot winter unable to get this uh, spike down. Gonchas on the other hand picking it up. Knowing spike that he's play. right there, finding out the best course of action on how to push onto this corner right here. Got him right there, ice on the cutty. But one enemy what's remaining. gonna come out, he's gonna get the only gotcha. It's gonna be a 1v1 situation. Hot dog versus ice. Gotta go. And he's gonna get a kill from the hot dog right there. And they're gonna wrap up the score 13 to 10. Incredible shot right there from hot dog. That was great to see. Seeing it go from a 3v3 to a 1v1 so quickly. Hot dog able to get this first kill as CSU takes the first map. You have to say to CVUs, you gotta win those, but they are not able to.
right now, moving into our second map of the game, Ascent. This, if I remember correctly, is CVU's pick and Fracture being CSU's. A raise and Omen possibly coming online. Pate still not locked it in yet, but that's what we saw him play last game. And we're going to be seeing a very similar lineup to last time that CSU was on this map. Now, we have not seen CVU's components, store. they are putting in Astro, which we have not seen in the city yet, so before we have seen Rushes. So we're just going to see what this is going to look like. CVU's going to have all the players locked in, so what the third matchup's going to look like. They're fade, a uh, Chamber, Ice, Rushes. Pairing with a really impressive lineup, it seems here. Hoodie once again on this Phoenix, which is, I mean, great to see Phoenix being used again in the meta. I mean, Phoenix, I was last time we saw Hoodie play Phoenix on set. I mean, he did an incredible job of just wiping. Select your Phoenix. agent. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I like Hot Dogs probably most likely going to end up in Chamber once again. Just murders them. We are now all locked in and ready to move on to this game. CSU now defending. V or CVU attacking. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, actually, wasn't it Hoodie who was in chamber with this match? I'll probably need I'm pretty sure that is right. I'm gonna see a little bit of roll switch out as well, it seems like from CSU. And here's just how they play out on this one. Got some really flexible players right there, and highlighting a lot, of the, a lot of the really good things they can do here. CSU definitely wanted to, wanting to take this second match, not possibly not wanting to play a third match, which I don't blame them for. I mean, more maps need more exhaustion. I mean, any team knows the more you the more mental comes into effect. I mean, if you're absolutely exhausted when playing, it's going to be horrible. You know, we've seen that CSU can go to all three maps, and we don't know what CVU can do. Let's hope that CSU, though, can wrap it up in this one and finish the game here. Oh, yeah, we're going to be heading into the second match in the first round on a simple. Careful now. Seems like CFE is just going to be going for this pistol. Pistol round take on the A site. Hoodie and uh, Hate right now holding this, but Shadows. Hoodie goes down due to Gonchas. Hate is going to smoke it by a little bit of time. Seems like most CSU is waiting a little bit longer to rotate. Seems like Kate might be expected for one. Someone from Cat, but they're never going to come. Seems like the main damage check is Woman right there. Kate's going to get an incredible kill. McDonald's right there and deals a lot of damage to ice. We coming in with this shock dart lineup trying to make sure that they can do damage to the planter. Able to get the kill onto ice. Absolutely great shock dart from uh, Weez right there. We flurry kills up from CFU, sadly. Super Blizzard Man, Weez both gonna go down. We're gonna get the pick on the pay. It's gonna be a 1v3 currently, and it's not gonna match. Hot dog goes down, and the first round goes to the CVU. Shot Incredible round right there from CVU. We're going to be seeing a little bit differently this round from what they did last second round. I feel like it's more of a force button more than anything. You see even a bulldog and all four armor coming out. CVU definitely wanting to get their foot up in this right now, trying to buy, hopefully, hoping to get a second round back to back. Winter able to get two kills that round. Standing ahead. I think he's going to be doing the fast push on the B site right here. Like so, we might have a lot of confrontation. So let's prepare for it. Hot Dog's going to get the pick on the ice right there. That headhunter really comes in handy. Yeah, incredible pick right there. The uh, CV is going to blast back. Two picks from Blitz on the CSU team. A 2v2 going on right now as Pate works to rotate back around so he Spike can stick planted. with Soup Blizzard. This door going Wait. down. One more Ash to Star online. Being able to possibly be used. Shutting them down. They're gonna be smoking off the doorway right. It's gonna be 
Nonchez is going to be unaware of what's going to be really happening, but there's an extremely low help. Gets me checking CT. He's going to be turning this back One to where um, Astra's going to be at. Last some competition. Let's going to get the pick on the bait, bait right there. Supers going to peek, and Supers is going to win that engagement. Does he have enough time to defuse the bomb? And it does he seem does. That does. It's going to be the first round towards CSU. Wow, Soup Lizard was definitely able to do a great job there, getting those two kills. Gonchez was low, but he was able to completely kill um, Blitz right there. Yes, you do an incredible job altogether that round, considering they were only having pistols that round. And he's got a shorty. I mean, really salvaging that round. That was all Spectres gone down for CVU. Really makes you wonder what they're going to be doing this round. Looking like it's going to be a full save this one. A change going on right now with CSU pretty much has means to completely buy. Meanwhile, CVU wanting to fall back a little bit, save their economy as much as they can. So whenever they do fall by, they can fully commit. You see, CVU is actually a little bit of presence on the cat right now. Anything they can only want to main CSU. Where is that? If CSU can turn there's nothing going on in main. They can narrow the cover going down. Let's see if he's going to be pushing towards tree. What the is going to be slowed right now and he's smoked off. Hoodie able to get both or all three of those enemy players um, flash, but unable to get the kill onto any. Eight is going to be able to trade though, and so is Hot Dog on the Gonchas. Cover going on. Like CV is going to be rotating towards Beast. So he is ready though for the confrontation and the battle. So I'm just going to shock dart and slowing down the. It is smoke, so he does not have an idea of what's going on. He does have the sound cues. He's going to hear the shots, and he's going to be given the call out from it of the planting beast. I'm going to see the players from CSU slowly sort of rotate. Planted. See this chamber with a close pop up, so he's going to get the winter right there. He's going to even pick the hot dog right there. A, three, a 3v2 going on right now. All CSU players currently at full health. Meanwhile, Ice is not looking too good. One enemy remaining. It's gonna get a pick on the ice right there. The last one's gonna be Blitz once again. Blitz hitting an last incredible shot. Hitting standing. another incredible shot on the pick right there. And it's gonna force him out of position. Blitz is gonna use his ult, but is it going to matter? He's gonna start, he's gonna start defusing right here. He's gonna start sticking it. He's gonna have to stick it. He's not gonna have the Soap Lizard able to get that kill! Wow. wow, and, and not cool. able to get the few, sadly, though, but that was a beautiful kill right there. Yeah. Really good kill from Super Wizard, but it does not amount to anything, sadly, since they are not able to win the round. Incredible round from CVU doing the exact same thing CSU did that second round. We're showing how good both of these teams are. It's going to be a back and forth game. I can feel it already. Right here, on my mark. CVU now going in for the buy while CSU saves. It's a back and forth with them right now. Not knowing one team saves, the other buys just continues over and over again. Revealing area. Really good job. So CSU really not wanting to let any rounds go towards their way. CVU is going to get an incredible, really long angle on the hoodie right. Look at that angle. Hope he's going to still be playing it. He is gonna smoke it so he can't get one more. Hot Dog's gonna get a pick on a Gonchas right there, doing some damage to the money. It's gonna be one rifle down for CVU. A lot of action going on in mid. Meanwhile, Spike is moving what it seems like to this B site. Yeah, two players pushing up mid right now. Okay, he's gonna be somewhat aware of it, but he's looking more, having a much more passive angle, looking for someone to look like he can. Right, Soup Lizard holding this spawn, making sure that nothing gets past him. As he gets flashed, unable to get the kill onto Ice. Ice is too quick. He's left in sight, only with a shorty. He not be able to do much with it. Maybe he is. He is. To the Vandal, but it doesn't Five matter. Hate right here, not hearing the chamber behind him as Winter is standing. able to get the kill onto him. Going to be Hot Dog now left in a 1v3 situation. Winter's gonna be holding the mid on the ice is gonna be holding onto doors, and he's gonna be able to get the kill on the hot dog, giving another round to CVU. This round, Icy is able to get his ult online. Meanwhile, Wes is just one ult point away. So far from what we've seen, Wes's 
um, Sova ults have really been crucial to these rounds and getting a lot of information that helps them out a lot. Yeah, his start has really been expert so far, Sean. Why he's such a good player. Now, CSU is going to be going for football. Pull by, and Hot Dog's going to be using his ult. Holding this angle pretty aggressively. No one moving quite yet. A lot of action going on in this A site as they slowly begin to push forward. We have a fade working towards Catwalk. A little bit of control towards mid. Looking like courtyard's gonna be the CPU No one's watching mid either. CSU super is just watching spawn though. But he is watching oh, cat is gonna push there. Rachel is gonna come out, so they're gonna start going fast and haste. But he is gonna be ready. Flash this up. He's not gonna be able to get a kill. Instead, he's gonna get killed. It's gonna be a 2v3 situation. CSU. Planted. Bomb is gonna go down now. Smoked off. Very Ew. few options about what to do. Okay, he's playing right here. Close up, we can get the pick on the hot dog. Hey, it's gonna be flash, but it's gonna go away. First, we can get the final kill on the super. This is gonna be another round for CDU. Right there. Already gonna be going into round right six currently with CVU having a three round lead. CSU once again being forced to save. Be an extremely bad round for CSU if they cannot win it here. How about we get spotted by the fade utility and forced him to back off? So much going on right now with mid for CSU. Pretty much all of them pushing mid. Being able to disperse around the map when needed. Cover going out. CSU is just doing more than anything with the picks. Instead, these shit rounds are always going to be about the economy. Enemy marked. Going to get an ice. Extremely good kill right there from Winters. Not really Teleport treat it. Hot dog in this hand, uh, or this headhunter, really working out in his favor. The skill he has with that gun is amazing to see. He's gonna be able to get these really time. Gaunch is very low at the moment. A 4v4 still going on. A slow push onto B for CVH right now. 30 seconds left in this round. Looks like they're only gonna have one pick on me. Does not really Face look like fear. they really realize what's going on. The players are slowly so the world. I have them. They're gonna be making it out of this. He's gonna be stuck in the corner with this and two shots in his room. <gasps> not checking this corner right here! And he whiffs his shots though! Gonch is gonna get the kill on the hot dog, and he set's gonna be theirs all day. Man, hot dog is gonna be kicking himself about that one later. Wow. There's not going to be enough time to think about it. The bomb is down and CSU's got to start making decisions. He's got to start making them quickly. But he's going to hit an incredible shot in the winter right there. The wall's going to go... He's going to get a good kill on the CSU with the Super Blizzard. And the flurry kill's going to come from CVU. And another round goes towards CVU as well. Some good kills though coming out of CSU, but really not doing enough economic damage over here. CSU buying right now. Two um, players going bankrupt. It's not looking too good for them. Meanwhile, CVU, on the other hand, has plenty of money to spare. CSU really wants to get these maps back online, trying to get kills so they can get this economy back up again. This is definitely the worst that we've seen CSU do so far. Out of the last few maps, hopefully you've seen CSU pick up some rounds soon. Come on, let's go! CSU hot dog holding the site once again, this B site. As Ray's slowly works her way around, still not committing yet. Seems like she's going for it. Going for a quick peek. Hot dog. Extremely patient. Not going to really connect the shot. Sadly, he's going to back off. Soup Maybe Blizzard coming to his aid, though. Getting onto this B-side as quickly as he can. 
I thought now holding the spawn angle and not really connect a shot once again. Still a 5v5 going down, one minute remaining without the spike going down, which isn't horrible, but still, you definitely want this to move quicker if you are CVU. Pretty much at a standstill right now. Not switching sides either. Fire in the hole! Got some pushing on the second this point right there, and I don't think it's gonna do any damage to anyone right there. That Razel is not able to do left. any damage. I'm just gonna get picked off, so this is Arctic from Hoodie. I'm gonna start planting on this site. Once again, this Sova ult from West will definitely help Revealing them get area. the information they need along with this ult. We're gonna get another pick on the blitz right here. It's gonna be chasing the buddy. Ice is gonna win that fight. We're just gonna get the pick line. Incredible angles right now. The CVU player is gonna be holding. A 2v2 going on right now. One enemy remaining. Is that a 1v1? 1v1 between Hot Dog and Ice. Both players gonna be extremely constant with one another. Ice is gonna try and peek with each other with the winner. And Ice is gonna get the kill on the hot dog, which will be another round for CVU. Wow, one to six right now. Definitely looking different from the first how the first map did. Definitely a lot of these points are going to put CVU's way dominantly too. We've got to give them a lot of credit where it's due. CSU once again going to have to either force buy or save something like a The save once again for CSU. Really not looking great for them right now, and it really sucks to see. Standing ahead. The start coming online is there's a lot of activity going on in this B side. Way are we able to get um, stunned by this prowler? Yeah, he's going to be pushing on the site really quickly. Once he's going to get the first pick on the hot dog, but he's going to trade it once again. Spike planted. He is going to need more than just not damage each other's round. He needs a win. When he's going to go down. He's going to be hoping to look for some picks. There's going to be utility at them. not going to matter much. Hey, and Hoodie able to slowly come around this corner. Unable to get the kill as Gonchez gets three. I'm just looking to make it four. He's gonna be trapped in this corner. He's gonna be trapped in the corner. He's gonna get the final kill. Eighth round going in the way of CBU. As we can see, um, Hot Dog, or sorry, not Hot Dog, Hoodie there, was very low in a 1v4, not looking in his favor by any means. And something like we might see yeah. match unless CSU attack. They will have rifles this round, so maybe they can do damage. It's gonna be crucial though they win this round here. If they do not, they have to save once again. Shadows traveling. Cover going out. It's just been playing a little bit more for us at this time. Uh, this chamber right here of winter, this little corner is gonna be hiding. So we'll send the shock dart out. It's not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna miss him just by her. I'm not gonna think he's there. I'm gonna back off, just kind of maybe hoping for the chamber to push the instead. We have three players over by A and A and one watching cat. Hot dog and winter in a standoff here. Hot dog not here. possibly not knowing, actually he does know that winter is sat in this corner oh, right here. Feet. The shock dart coming online from Sova. Gonna back up though to the spawn. This we get the first kill on the pit there towards A site. They have now started planting the bomb. Which would bring more than anything more distraction. Gonch is gonna get another kill on the soup lizard. It's not looking good so far to the CSU side once again. Once again, this was CBU's match pick. Take flight. A 3v5 going on right now. Oh. Yeah, she's gonna looking for some openings, but we'll see any. Looks like they might be thinking about them just to save, which would be really important considering they've not won any rounds at all. 
CSU has decided to save, and once again, they're going to be coming back. Going up. Yeah, CSU deciding to let CBU get this round and fall back and save as much as they can. I thought going to get a really good launch. It's in right there. It's going to matter. CBU. It's loading. Eco still not looking too hot for CSU, but definitely looking better than it was before. Meanwhile, CBU, on the other hand, a lot of money. A timeout okay. actually coming from CBU's side right now. I think they're coming from CBU's side. Timeout going active as I'm sure CVU really wants to get this map under their belt as quickly as possible, not wanting to give up any more maps to um, CSU. I think it's really, really important showing how CVU plays. Really deciding to take a timeout when they're dominating. I guess really wanting to secure that win. They're going to have this timeout and just tell the players, look, man, we are really close to winning. We just need a few more rounds, and this map is ours. So don't play dumb, you know, don't play dirty. Just keep your eye on the prize. And it's going to be really important to see if he does do that. As they start getting too cocky, they can start handing rounds to CSU. And next thing you know, CSU starts making a comeback. CBU definitely wanted to keep up with what they're going with right now. I'm not. It's going to be finished. I'm going to round in just five seconds. Interesting to see. This round. Right now, Hot Dog holding this B site alone. As once again, CVU is kind of split up and deciding where they want to push. Meanwhile, the other four members of the CSU team are sat on A. Prowler coming in, not able to get a hit onto Hot Dog as it's too far away. Ray's going for the slow push, as it seems as though Spike will rotate onto this B site since they think it is clear. It's an interesting to the site. Is Hot Dog gonna have any confrontation with these two players from CBU? Not just he's gonna be five peaking Hot Dog. He's gonna be patient, gonna get the first kill. Pate's gonna get a second on ice. Bandit a 3v5. This is the first time we've seen CSU do some really good opening kills. Butcher is gonna get the trade on the hoodie though. Cover going bomb is soon gonna be pushing B site. It's looking like they're gonna get the bomb down. This has all been a distraction once again. And the bomb is going to be on this guy, even though four players are going to either admit or not this. Spike plan, you want to fight it! Now wanting to rotate as quickly as possible as they can through the spawn site, wanting to get back Teleport to ready. me. is going to be coming extremely handy to see you. Let's see how CSU can currently adapt to it. So this is going to throw the flash route to currently enter, and we're going to have one player finally in the other side. Seeing that it's clear to push in, they go for the move. Standing ahead. One enemy remaining. Gonna get a flurry of kills. Lots of new astronaut on the site for Pace to be able to finish off. It's gonna be a second round for CSU finally. CSU yes. now able to pick up the second round, which is really gonna help them a lot, it's just, especially in their mental. And it was what? a pretty good um, retake of that site, especially with the Astra ult. Money a little bit. So I'm not sure who he's supposed to full record for his teammate. Not sure if CSU yet is going to commit to this buy. It looks like they might. CVU, on the other hand, still continuously buying back to back to back, not wanting to let up on their ego as all as it slowly starts to slip. Best bet for CVU right now, or CSU is going to be coming with us. Eight four. They only need to win two more rounds. However, they need to. They only have two more rounds to win. CSU Visa is going to get the first kill on the gun chest as they push fast in there. It's going to be a market current. Most drone. of these players have rotated. This is going to be going on the site almost again. So smoking off CT near that area. We're we going to be able to get this insight onto what's going on in market. Seeing three um, agents right there. Phoenix coming in with the flash. 
wall planted. or door not going down just quite yet. Revealing they instead want to hold back site instead of risking it, uh, one of their players going down. Super Blizzard, Abram will get the kill onto IC. Chuck Dark. Right here. Really good fade utility out of Arctic for now. CSU is gonna have to start pushing. They do have numbers at the end. Fade is gonna be blind. I'm gonna get one kill on the winter. Fade's gonna get another on the Arctic. Blitz is gonna get another kill, but Super Blizzard does not care. He's gonna get the final kill on the Blitz. Making a 3 8. And this is what I'm talking about. CSU is able to put two rounds together and they're starting to have some momentum. It doesn't really matter since the last round of the half is next round. But if CSU can carry that momentum in the next last half, it could possibly switch. start making a comeback. Those two back-to-back -back rounds will definitely help a lot with what's going on right now. Snuff them out. Seems like CV is going to be setting up for a push. Chamber you is want to be play? Let's inside. play. Chamber of CU is going to be using as a moment. A lot of things going on on this A site right now. CBU trying to get in as quickly as they can, making CSU push back. Seems like CSU is going to give up site to CBU. Decided to play for retake. They do have a KO and a Phoenix. Spike planted. Handy. Two more kills from Wiz, and he could have his ult. You want to fight it? Super Blizzard's ult coming online along with Phoenix's. Hopefully to get as much um, information and damage as they can do right now. Gotcha's hiding right here in hell. They're getting incredible free right now. The last two players from CVU is going to turn in hell. The last one player, and it does not matter. CSU is able to recover this half and make it a 4 8. Incredible last three rounds right there from CSU. And it's really showing what we could possibly see in this next half. It's going to be interesting to see how this next half goes, and I'm really hoping that CSU can bring this back, because I believe that they can. After those incredible last three rounds that we saw them, they started bringing that momentum back. They started putting it together, and we saw the damage that they can do. They were absolutely, utterly destroying CBU. So let's hope we can see this coming into the offensive half. This second half could definitely be a game changer on the way and direction that this is going. CSU definitely finding their composure more and more as the game goes on. Here. CSU going for this B push. They will be met with three players here. right here, depending if they push fast or slow. Shadows traveling. Yes, you need all positions towards B side. You have the team of rotating. Yeah. Seem like really much of anything going on so in this round. I really like this different kind of like change of pace from CSU. CSU mostly usually does this sort of like aggressive group spread. Cover going out. It's just really helpful to face the CPU players and not helpful with so far though. Also definitely affects CPU because they don't know what's going to turn from the You know, what, what are they thinking for? And while we do not know the next push could be guesses, it's a new start to rotate a few players towards the A site. CSU is going to start pushing on B site though currently, they're also going to push on to it. 40 seconds left on the clock as they try to get this spike down and push on to B as quickly as they can without taking much damage, wanting to keep this going on. Arctic's going to get a pick though, and the Super they're going to have to sight Gaunch is going to get another one of the Gaunch is able to get that kill with the... Um, Right I'm just gonna get another kill on the hot dog, and it's gonna be a 2 v 4 currently. 2 v 5 One enemy remaining. Making it a 1 v 5 as Gonchez gets another pick. Is Gonchez gonna be able to make it a 4k, and he does, getting the last kill on the pace. Pistol round goes in favor of CBU. That raise util was great to see. Two coming from the util alone. Two kills, I mean. Four to nine right now, not looking too great for CSU. CSU's definitely gonna have to make some changes. 
and some mountains here. It is definitely still in the realm of possibility, as they only need five rounds of high income. Five rounds would not be hard to put together. However, they really need to win this next round of the one for that. That way they can establish a good economy and start being the black vandals on full on. We're going to see a force buy out of CBU buying a Ares, a Bulldog, and a flurry of other weapons. We're going to see CSU sticks to the old, proud, proud uh, true tradition of this game. Once again, some activity going on in this B site, pushing for a slow um, walk into site this time. Once again, Paint Mob Not watching this yet. mid area right here along with Hoodie, or er, Hot Dog, sorry. Not exactly wanting to let the enemy team knowing their location right now, being very methodical about this push. Now, we'll say besides for B main, most of CVU's defense is extremely spread out. They're only having one player watching each angle. It can be probably really hard for me to get a retrade or a refrag. Donchester is going to be aware of the CSU plays right here with the drone going out. Ash Smoke's going to be starting to flip. I think we're going to get anything out of it again. Ice is going to get a pick on the hot dog towards mid though. Ice getting this door down just to be killed by Pate. It is going to back up once again. Conscious is going to get another grenade kill on the hoodie left. right there, though. These nades coming from Gonchas right now are very consistent in the way that they're going. Spike down, mid. Winter they're stuck in a difficult situation here as he goes down to pay. We hey, able to get the hill onto Blitz. But only the least going to get big shots right here. It's not matter. It's another kill on Gonchas. It's another one. Making the score 10. Making this even harder for CSU to win it. Now, CSU does still have the option eventually to either go, well, you know, we don't have this map. Maybe we can move on the next. That's a good spot. Honestly, though, I'm not sure if they want to give up that easy. Hopefully, going to be able to come back and regroup, possibly call a timeout for this, but we'll see how it goes. Switching it up and deciding to go for A this time. CVU expects this. Once again, a slow push, which is what we've been seeing consistently out of CSU on this map, as it is definitely CVU's match pip pick, and it shows. Hot dog able to get a kill through the wall bang right there, clearing the site. Had little picks right there from CSU, definitely going to be vital to this round. Look at start putting rounds together, it's really crucial, and it starts with getting those two picks this round. Two players going to watch this flank, make sure that nothing gets past them as Chambers run they do is getting interrupted. Having a good hold on this site right now as both players from CBU try to come through Garden. Teleport's gone. One enemy remaining. Ice is gonna rotate towards heaven. Are they gonna be aware of his position? Looks like Hot Dog's trying to look up there, gonna flash it, it doesn't seem like they have some idea. Ice is gonna get the shot on the hoodie, but it does not matter, as two Blizzard trades him out, and the round goes towards CSU, winning their fifth round. Even though it is only one more round for them on the board, this can definitely help, making it only five rounds they need to catch up to CBU. Yeah, definitely. We did not really lose that many players. I think we only got one player down that whole entire round. I mean, they still have most of the rifles from last round. They can win this this round as well. They can start putting them together, and they can start take, making that comeback to, to do so. It is going to take some extremely good plays, though, and so definitely going to have to see how that goes for CSU. Going back to this B push that they seem to be comfortable with. CSU goes in slow. Hoodie possibly going to be met with Rays and Fade right here as Fade continues to do a jump peek. Hoodie alerting them where should they are. Gotcha's able to get this kill onto Hoodie. Right there. Yes, he is going to be player down, but so is CVU. Hey, 
Gates Hill, not where it wants to be right now. But, but we is able to get the kill on Gonchez, damaging their economy just a little bit. CSU is going to start rushing towards A site. We do have one player towards uh, health. They are going to be blinded, and so is the player on Heaven as well. CSU's health is looking really low right now with one more fall. A 3v3, but Blitz is able to mow these down along with a kill from ISC. Really tragic round for CSU. They just gathered up like a bunch of pigs in the slaughter. And they were not really able to do much more after that. CSU's economy not looking really good either. Looking like it's going to be a forced buy. We're going to see the first time out finally come from CSU. And they're definitely going to need this win to take it. They need to definitely start thinking about what they can do better because these rounds are not going in their favor. Now is the time for them to communicate together and really see how they feel as though these opponents are playing and the best way to get these rounds back towards them. Definitely going to need a lot of work because they are currently down six rounds. I think that's only to make it even. If they get two more rounds, this map is going to receive you know, more than that. So it's pretty curious to see what the coach might be saying to these players at the moment. The coach really does have a lot of input during this timeout, so it's extremely crucial. So curious to see what he has to say and what else he can do. It's definitely going to be intense if they're able to come back from this. They're going to have to want this so bad. Timeout now ending as we move on into this round. Yes, you can take advantage of that reset. They're going to need it. They have a long hill to climb. They're going to need every bit of motivation. Yeah. Economies for both teams not looking super great. CSU definitely struggling the most. Possibly going on this push for A. The Fade Prowler coming in from Arctic, trying to get as much information as you can, since the bomb bot has already alerted that someone was there. Where the other types of friends are going to go out, but it does not matter. He's, he's going to get the kill on the so that bomb can even go off. Pay able Damn. to get that kill Turn onto over. Blitz. You're dead. And players are going to get some contact with Arctic, but it's going to win the game. Just a lot of the player from Heaven has been trapped with window, though. It looks like both of them are going to be spawned. Looking like it might be safe from CBU. It's definitely looking that way as they seem to be backing off to this B site. Another round goes to CSU, unless this breach is able to make this rotate, which seems like he will not be committing to. Well, I don't think it would be in CBU's favor either to complete the rotate. I mean, they don't have much money, but if they can save these two guns, they can at least buy for a few teammates. The next round is still looking like CBU could possibly have a chance. If they lose that round after that, that's for CBU you need to be concerned about what their money looks like and how these rounds are going. I see pushing up, wanting to get as much damage to the enemy economy as they can, alerting his presence here with the stun. CSU able to get another round onto the board, bringing it closer to a tie. CSU's going to be able to keep all of the rights. Extremely important. Good job for CSU as well. Several ults that could happen during this round right now. Soup Blizzard one away from his. Hot Dog two away from his. Hoodie, he will have to get five. Once again, seeming to go for a mid or an A push, but could possibly go through could possibly go through catwalk. Now Phoenix, Phoenix Ashes is going to be watching this. Gongcha is able to get a kill onto Hoodie, but takes a lot of damage from it. Shock Dart coming on, hopefully to get him down as much as possible. Another one. Quiet now. He's going to get the pick on the Gongcha right there, though. I see sitting on top heaven, waiting for someone to push in so he can swing. Zoop Blizzard, Zoop Blizzard throwing that grenade, trying to hold them at bay as much as they can. Last player standing. 
not looking like this round's gonna be going to this way. Gonna have some competition with Ice. Ice can be leading the pick on the Wii's. CBU now bringing it to match point. Match point. CSU will have to claw tooth and nail if they want to bring this back, or it looks like we might be going on to a match three. Fast pushing the B site right now. Okay. Asher of Blitz is going to be finally having to work back towards the rest of the team. Me, looks like Caesar is actually able to make something out of this round. Incredible round from CSU right here. It is a 3v1, so it still is the realm of possibility for CVU to win, but that was an incredibly fast round. You blink and you would have missed it. Splitting on the site and you're doing a lot of damage right there. He's gonna get another pick on the hot dog right there. He got a little too aggressive and he's not able to finish the kill off in winter. But he is though making the 3k round for hoodie and making the round 7-12. Another round for CSU is good, but still looking like most likely the front of the map is going to go to a CVU unless near CSU. Does not look like CVU has much money to buy though. Never mind if they can't even be for full AR's at the Not really so sure yet. Once again, CVU so cl close to winning this match. We'll see if CSU can bring it back, or if this will be the round where they fall. Winter going in with a, an aggressive push here. Hate's gonna shut down that push though, so is his hoodie. Arctic is gonna get the trade on the Hate right there. Hoodie's ult now online, hopefully using it during this round. Yeah, he does seem to be aware though that no one is on base sets for this to bomb down. Fate is gonna start pushing to a tree though. The bomb is gonna go down as Ice gets another pick on the hot dog. Making the 3 3 and tying it up. Round Joke's over! You're dead! Holding on to this side as much as they can. A 2v2 going on right now. Bees is going to get more kill currently. On the right there. One enemy it's remaining. going to be Ice versus Bees uh, right there, but it's like it doesn't matter. Ice is able to secure the kill, but not the round. The round goes towards CSU, and Ice is finished off the bomb. Another round goes towards CSU. It was great watching them come back from that really quickly. I mean, that hold onto the A site that Soup Lizard had there was awesome to see. We're going to be seeing CSU push really fast for Beast. No one is crowned yet. This player, player being chambered towards mid. This will be great for them to come in and sweep this site so quickly as CBU struggles to get this rotate in as quickly as possible, trying to do as much damage as they can. He's going to get the bomb down, looks like, and it's going to be a 5v5 push. They're really not being accepted by this pay. It's going to be taken out by Winter. going to be main. CBU players coming in from this. Yeah, Flurry, CV, utility going to be spread out in sight. They're going to start pushing. It's really going to matter. Nobody's going to get the trade. It's going to be a 2v3, 2v2 for CSU. And it's going to be like a 1v1 for CSU. 
I see, I see low, low right now. And CSU Liz, Super Blizzard is able to finish it off, making the round count 9 12. Wow. wow. It's looking more and more likely that CSU could possibly play this pack, but CVU now is going to have a whole bunch of utility. CVU, though, now is going to take another time out. Really working so hard to lock in and continue this win streak that CSU ha is having right now. Wanting, not wanting for CVU to get another match in, because as soon as it is, it's game over and we move on to map three. Yeah, CSU has won three rounds in a row, and CSU has not won more than two rounds. So we need to break that trend this round to keep this game going and keep this match alive. And if it does, it could turn out very sluggish for CSU as well if they take this game all the way to the clinic, making the third game even more sluggish as well. This game really has us on the edge of our seats as we continue to see CSU try to attempt a comeback as much as they're able to. I mean, now it's going to be wrapping up very soon. Wondering if TVU can finish one ahead soon. TVU is going to be able to see We're back, ready to move into this next round. Match point once again, round 22. It seems like CSU's economy is pretty interesting. They really know what to do. CVU's economy is in the same boat. Definitely struggling to get there. I have the spike. CVU is going to close market doors extremely early when it has been this round. It's definitely going to give a sound bite when it needs to say extra more. It's going to be how this from the door. And two players over towards B, and then three currently pushing towards C spawn. Not wanting to push, but not wanting to show that they are going to this B site, wanting it to be as clear as possible. But it seems as though the enemy team right knows here. what's going on. Not much sound going on at all. This fade util not able to signal that anyone is here as once again they go for a slow push. Phoenix coming in with a flash. And um, Super Blizzard coming on with the ult. 30 seconds. players currently here to cover. They are gonna no, they're not going to get any picks. Yes, he's going to get two, but Ice can be able to trade at least pain right there. A 4v3 going down, but with Spike down, we, we able to um, grab it. Get it down as quickly as possible. Another round loss for CDU would be really detrimental not only to their mental but also their economy. They're looking really rough after this round. We're going to be doing another one. Astra coming in with this push right now. Soup Blizzard able to get him down before he's able to even enter the site. Hot Dog planning to go for a flank behind them, but they move back. Wanting to save this round as another round goes to CSU. Bringing it to 10, 12. Definitely boosting them right now. Making them feel great as they're able to get this close as to uh, with a comeback to winning. I'm sure CVU right now was quite stressed at the moment with everything going on and the way that these um, things are changing so quickly. CVU's economy looks really rough too. It doesn't look like all the players can be able to full buy. Only like a few players are going to have to either settle for judges, or not judges, but sheriffs and light armor and some setting, settling for specters and light armor, yeah. while Winter does have the off in hand, which will be extremely effective this round. That's a good spot. Here. Seems like CV is going to be pushing towards me. Mainly looking for some picks right here. CV is going to get the first one on the pit right there. Like he's going to get another on the hot dog. This round's starting to look not like CSU's again. So CSU can bring it back in the 3v5 currently. Gonchez is going to get another kill on that hood right there. So he's going to get the first on the Gonchez. Finally having a kill on the board for CSU this round. 
even though it is a 4v2 going on right now. Two characters standing. Oh, make that a two or a 1v4 right now, but two characters from the enemy team are quite low at the moment. Soup Blizzard all alone. Soup Blizzard able to get one kill down. Three more to go. A flash coming out. Getting blind to all three of them, but sadly not able to make it. Second round goes to CVU. That is going to be the second map for CVU, right there. All right, we're going to take a brief break and move back with you in a moment.
this so far this season. So let's see what we have going on here as far as the lineups. Both teams favoring. It looks like a Viper Smoke, understandably, with all these very long angles on Breeze. I think this is the first time that we'll see Breeze. Am I wrong? I am right. I'm so smart. Yes, he's still taking a little bit more time with deciding what the lineups are going to be. You see a KO out of Super Blizzard. And then did extremely well as KO last game, so excited to see what he does this game. Looking like once again Hot Dog will be on Neon, meanwhile Hoodie takes Chamber. We once again on Sova. Pay on Viper will definitely be interesting to see, along with Blitz, because Blitz has been doing great these rounds, definitely tuning into his role. Uh, Goncha is with Jet. I think that's definitely going to be interesting to see, especially with how well he played on Ray's earlier, especially with his use of the utility. I'm really excited to see him just straight up bragging out so well. Damage he can do. Kong Chess has really been so far a really important player this whole into the series for CV. He's got incredible frags to the series with his knee on the first match, just raise the second. I mean, it's been kill after kill for the now. Going right into it with CSU defending. Can we take a moment to appreciate the background music of Breeze? It makes me so happy. It reminds me of the Little Mermaid. Usually when the team wins it, it's round. Usually it's not going to speak to the flaw. We see a heavy push onto the A site coming from CVU. Viper Wall is going to go down onto A site, and it seems like CVU is going to be pushing in really fast. Incredible Viper Wall right here. Spike no planted. Any spawn angles or mid angles. Hey, able to get that kill onto Icy. Quite low at the moment, though. Last player standing. Hey, alone here with three health. He's able to get the kill onto Blitz. Screen down. Not able to get it as Gonchas gets him down. Last player standing. Gonchas does die to the um spike though. Once again, CSU spreading out along these. Definitely sticking more towards A than they were before, as once again, it seems as though CVU is going to go for an A push since it worked out on their favor the first time. So far, not seeing a lot of mid action coming from either teams. Hoodie going in from alert, on alert through mid, possibly. Deciding it's not worth it and just instead pushing up. Another pick, I should, oh my god, I just gonna get a flurry of kills, making that a 3k, getting another one, the hot dog and soup blizzard. And then fourth, making a 4k for ice on the CSU. Probably will round right there from ice. Are you even able to buy it off coming into the second round? Is he going to do so? 
looking at the economy right now, we see CVU kind of spread out all over the place. We have a Vandal, Spectre, Sheriff. All of them having different guns right now. Meanwhile, CSU sticks with the Vandal. Feeling most comfortable with it, but able to buy full shields. Meanwhile, Winter on the CVU um, team is not actually going to buy it, even though he has enough money to, wanting to save it for the next round. What CV really wants to do Just pay half an hour. I'm the loser when I'm making this money. Oh well. Extremely smart for me. CSU is gonna have to force buy right here or full buy rather, but they're not gonna have any money to do this right now. At least he won't have any work on A Street. But he's gonna get picked up incredibly quickly playing the corner, it's just not gonna work out for him. Lock gonna go down. Planted. Weez is gonna get the trade on the march, though. Good kill coming out of Weez. Watch us. Is sadly gonna be picked up by Weez. He's gonna get the pick on the hot dog. Right now, a 2v4 going on right now. Pay able to make it a 2v3 as he gets uh, Gonchez down. Soup Lizard pushing up. Throwing a nade on to that backside right there, making sure that no one is hiding or, get, or is going to get past. CSU looking to go for a save round right now. Wanting to keep the economy in check for when they are able to come back from this. I mean, it's going to be extremely important. If they don't save those two rifles, they're not really going to be able to make much of anything. So the more rifles they have next round, the more likely they can win it. Chamber is in the door. I'm going to find it in the door. That's from the CPU. Going zero and three right now. Hopefully CSU will be able to bring it back before... It gets too far along. The Viper ult on line for Pate, though. This could definitely help them hold on to these sites. Make sure that the spike can't go down. And if it is, they're able to get it defused. And this Viper ult could be extremely useful, too, in the sense that they've been pushing these sites extremely quickly. I mean, a Viper ult is looking down so much. The wall going to come once again from CVU, seeing a lot of the same stuff we usually do. Okay, I'm not gonna come out, same revival. Set up, plant the bomb, it's in the five to five. The hot dog's gonna spray into a little bit. Viper wall's not gonna matter. I'm gonna get killed in the hot dog. West hoodie gonna come back with trade. Another hoodie from Winter. I mean, another kill from Winter on the hoodie. Right now, a 3v3, both soap is quite low. We able to get a good view on how they are backing up into cave right now. We're going to keep this incredibly good Viper Wall from Cape right here. It's going to slow down their push a little bit. This would be a great time for the Viper ult to come online, but I think they choose not to. Cape is going to get a half of since the Viper just missed the thing. Let's see the Soul ult coming from Spawn down. This is going to like another round for CVU, sadly. It's going to be another round. Let's choose. Champions good. Pull that out. CSU definitely wanting to work their way back here. They were able to get a pretty good push onto the site now after Spike was down, but they still had to commit a little bit more. I'm sure that it would have helped um, if... I'm sure it helped that um, Hoodie was able to get it to half, but still just not enough for them to, find, to get their first round in. It's still going to be searching for their first round. I think they'll get a full buy once again, though. CVU going for A once again. I think CSU needs to adjust to the strategy, but they know what's going on and begin to rotate onto this A site, seeing that the Viper wall goes up, giving CVU away. So far, CVU has been like a well oiled machine so far in this game. Every single time, pushing on the A site, exactly what they need to get this site. Second, Ice is going to get an incredible shock on the Soup Lizard right there, and it's going to KO down. Soup Lizard really just walking into that crosshair there. Jet's gonna get a little too aggressive though, and Hotdog's gonna pick him off. Finally, a kill for CSU2. Finding the time and being patient right here. CVU does not have to play the It's down. It's gonna see some chance to kill the bomb. It's not really gonna hit no one. Right now, some of the members being. Um, Discovered right now as the Sova Util is able to catch them. CVU or CSU giving up once again, backing off, trying to save their economy as much as they can as the fifth round goes to CVU.
things like just since that last round, CSU has not been able to recover. They've not gotten any single round so it's not I'm out of here. CVU economy looking great at the moment with an op coming on lines. A CSU soup lizard instead going for the marshal, not able to afford the op. Not able, he can afford a full shield, but decides to save a little bit of money that he could use in the next round. There. Gotta go. I'm out of here. Once again, CVU coming for this A, but Hot Dog now holding on. You see, hoodies can get extremely important when they pick on a gauntlet. It's terrorizing some more CSU. I'm not sure if CVU is going to back down from this. Super Blizzard able to get a hit onto the enemy KO. Hot Dog able to get blitz down. I see two really important flags there from CVU. Uh, and they're going to be able to bring it back. 3v3. 3v2 actually as Pay gets caught on the flank. That flank really would have been nice if it were to go through, but sadly, Pate was taken down. A 2v3 going on right now, but the two um, CVU very, very low on two of their players. BSU does seem like they are aware, and they're rotating at the same time. But he can get the B set. They can't possibly could get a few picks. Right so now. Only going to have in his hands. So both going to have dark. Now, CVU, Winter, nor Arctic do armor. So it could possibly be really easy. 30 seconds picks. left. Spike Hoodie able to get the kill onto Winter, holding this angle now, hoping that Arctic peaks and he will be able to get this kill, making it a 2v1, possibly, if he's able to do this. Ice holding with the op, not wanting to let up, not wanting to let them get close to the spike. Ice able to get this kill onto Soup Blizzard and CVU's Arctic, able to get the kill onto Hoodie. A sixth round goes to CVU. Six rounds in a row for CVU. I mean, it's just absolutely dominating so far, CSU. Super lesson in the best game. CSU's gonna call the timeout. Maybe. Understandably, too, after having six rounds of loss back to back, they're gonna need some kind of mental break in order to bring it back. I mean, you kind of have to expect this just a little bit because CSU, I mean, so far, I've really been putting up a really good fight, but after that, almost come back after the second, uh, second map, you have to start wondering how well is their mental? Are they exhausted right now? You know, are they feeling it? They put a lot of energy trying to make the comeback in the second map, and it sadly just did not work out. So going into this third map, they really probably are drained at the map. The first map also brings some more for a little bit as well. This time out coming online, as CSU definitely feels the pressure that's going on right now. That first map went extremely well for them, even though they were fighting back and forth. Second map, not so good for CSU, but they were definitely able to make a comeback. Let's see if they're able to do it here and actually take this map away from the hold that CVU has on it at the moment. It is in the real possibility that CVU gets cocky. CVU starts getting cocky, they really do start to this round. Last time, they went up to 12, I think it's 6, and then they started to round and round. And it became very close to CSU having a comeback. Now, it was shut down. But it still could possibly happen on this map. But instead, CSU might be able again. Mistakes. The Viper ult coming online. All three ults, or only the Neon ult, not coming online for the available ults that CSU has right now. The Viper's pit definitely helping them push back from this B site. Ao is gonna ult. It's not gonna be able to really do. It's gonna go down and turn like this. She's flashing the out through the She flashes teammate. She's going to shot spray. See you taking a time here this time. It's like they're actually going to push in a piece of the face and get an incredible shot. Spike goes down. Ice pushing around this corner. Off in hand. Arctic going in to pick up this. Walking right into each other. Okay, Pate not knowing that Arctic is behind him. The Viper pit goes down. Spike planted. This gives CVU a great hold onto this B site, not really letting them slide. Uh, CVS oh, slide in by any means. I assume getting a really good pick on a stoop lizard right there. Two of the players from CSU is going to be coming through the spawn. One of them be coming through mid. Ice might be able to catch this knee. I'm coming through mid though. 
Ice is going to hit the utility. He's going to hold his pistol currently. Just hoping for someone to push him. Wanting to do something before it gets too late, but I think it might already be time. A 2v1 going on right now, or a 3v1, sorry. But you're going to get two incredible kills right there. This is less than it's looking like it, and CSU does not have enough time. And Winter's gonna get an incredible one tap right there, making the round count zero to seven. CBO really just not letting up right now, not letting CSU get any ma or rounds in at the moment. Very painful to see, if I'm being honest with you. The hold that CBU has right now with these sites, or being able to rotate so quickly, is extremely important. Possibly going again for another A push, but thankfully this time, CSU will have three agents holding this A site. Pay once again on this B site. You want to play? Let's play. Jet coming up to with her knives out. I think he's going to gain his hold now. He's going to pocket. Looks he can use once again to get about an eight push. Incredible ult right here from Merchant. Getting a few more kills. We so very more. low right here. Able, yeah. Ice able to finish him off. Pay coming in through the flank. This could be very important. He could possibly get this chamber down. And just like that, he's able to get the headshot right onto him. The Viper Pit from Blitz One is up right game. now, though, which could be very detrimental to if they're able to get the spike defused. Paint Mob able to get a second headshot with this, and finally another or a round goes to CSU with Soup Lizard uh, defusing the bomb, or actually Paint finishing it off. Hopefully this will just be the start of them coming back and being able to take this round away from the grasp that CVU has on it right now. It's down, guns up, get deadly. CBU really feeling comfortable with these A-site pushes as Hot Dog and Soup Lizard might go mid to be able to do a quick rotate onto that A-site. Understandably, too, their A-site takes it just absolutely destructive on CSU. I mean, it doesn't matter how CSU plays aggressive, passive, retail, they don't do stay on the ground. I mean, they are just getting dominated. A lot of going down, these gunfights, you can see it's just winning time. This incredible utility as well coming out of the team. But he is going to find the pick on the to too. But he's going to find another one on the winter. Tying it up to three. Viper wall goes up once again, but he's able to shoot through the Viper wall and get that kill onto Icy. That was an amazing shot. One enemy remaining. And she's back around that corner. Hoodie able to get four this round. An incredible 4K from Hoodie right there. Being absolutely the reason that CSU won the round and getting a second round for CSU. It seems like since they've had that timeout, they've had a little bit more time to play. Even when they lost that first round at the timeout, they sure wins two rounds back to back. This could possibly be the time for CSU to score. This round's the fourth and maybe have a good half come back. Teleport's ready. Hoodie sitting on top of this pyramid, which will be interesting to see since once a freaking gin, CVU goes for these A-site pushes. It has been working out in their favor, I must say, though, but I wish I could see a little bit more of a switch up going on for them. CSU hot dog holding mid the enemy chamber right there in that corner. Missing the shot, teleporting away. Soup Lizard is saved. Now realizing, like, realizing that they're going once again for this A-site push, they decide to move in from mid. Winter's going to get the first pick on the hoodie right there. 
has to be incredible kill right there. I mean, Hoodie's the reason they won last round. Detrimental to CSU. Gosh, that's this is gonna be spotted on the chat, but it looks like they're starting to rotate to the demons. It does not seem like CSU has realized it yet. Hot dog getting that beautiful kill right there onto um him. As a matter of fact, CVU is currently in CSU spawn. He's more towards mid right now, just kinda of waiting to test some players maybe like I'm not sure that they realize left. quite yet that Spike is going down on this B site, but as soon as they do, I'm betting that they're going to take off running that way. A 2v3. I have no idea that Blitz is going to be right there. He's going to get the pick onto them. The last two players are going to be spawn currently. Do they save the rifles? Is that guy? I wonder if he's asking right now. Money for CSU is not looking too bad for winning two rounds, but I mean, we're also going to be winning some more rounds. Once again, CSU deciding to fall back and save this economy. Save this op, most importantly. As the 8th round, or as um, CVU gets an 8th round under their belt. CSU with only 2. Soon, though, these side, or sides will be switched, and we can see how this affects Ice right now with 13 kills. Doing really great right now. Holding on to this op as Hoodie has his as well. We do see Corgis all around. I'm out of here. <laughs> Hot dog going for aggressive push as finally CVU switches us up to first push onto this B site. And it's really going to catch them off guard too. CSU was really finally expecting that B push. And when they finally expected Spike I mean, planted. the A push, and when they finally did expect the A push, they finally went to the B. Really good play right there from them. He is going to get the pick. Ice is going to This off being down is not great for CSU. Viper walls are going to put down Ace. There's not going to be any utility for them besides the Viper Dorns and their Smoke Blossom. It's going to be towards the corner, but he's going to miss out on the Ice and Ice going to hit on him. Hot Dog, they're able to get two before Ice finishes him off. Not enough time to defuse the spike, sadly, but they're able to do enough do damage to the economy. Last player standing. He's going to go for it. He's not going to be able to, but it doesn't matter because the bomb kills him. Another round goes to CVU. Last round in the half. Last round in the half. Really hoping that this will be a, this um change will definitely help CSU bring it back. Hoodie's online. Alt currently online. Gonna try to use it this round before it goes to waste. Same with Viper and Neon. A Neon ult could really be extremely helpful right now, especially if um Hot Dog were able to get something like a 3K. The match starts once again with an A push as everyone except for Soup Lizard is on this A site. Civil coming online. Pay able to get the first pick of this round. Hoodie able to get that flick onto Blizz. Incredible start so far from CSU. Looking like maybe able to pick up the third round. All or two of the three ults currently online right now. Hoodie able to get a, a second kill onto Ice, getting that other op down. If CSU does pick up this round, which is looking like it might, I mean, it's clear as day that Hoodie is the reason these rounds are being won. I mean, these op shots that he is hitting are just absolutely crucial and a big part of him winning these rounds. Hoodie is really playing great, especially with these operators right now. It's such... He's really able to clutch up these rounds and get these 3Ks that'll be able to bring them back. Spike still down. Um, CVU not able to pick it up just yet. A lot of noise going on right now. 30 seconds left. West is gonna get a uh, pickoff arch, but West is gonna get a trade back. Enemy suppressed. 
the one through four, and finish with one good round. It's not looking like he's gonna go too hot, so he did the last two of them. CS is gonna pick up another round, ending the half three nine. Switching sides. Now, like I said before, this can really change the way the game goes. If CSU really does play more aggressively and be able to stick to these sites and hold on to them, it could really bring them back. That works. The player that we do need to be watching right now is Icy. Really playing great on these rounds. Oh, I'm not. I see really playing great these games right now. Just getting as many frags as he can, leading the leaderboard with 6 7 0. Oh, or 16, sorry. CSU's yes, going to be going for a push. Well, looks like the fly for a is going to be setting up the fly for wall. The fly for wall is going to go down to the same one as CBU. This is a pretty common fly for wall, in all honesty. And that's going to go down. Ice is going to be affected by. I'm going to send out some neon utility, but it's not really going to affect ice. West is going to uh, get the uh, chamber off A site, and the bomb is going to be going down. Not looking really good so far for CSU. Neon sliding in. Hot dog able to get the kill onto Blitz, unable to finish Arctic off before he kills him. Winter pushing in from these doors right here. Able to get uh, Wee down, but Hoodie makes the trade onto uh, Gonchez. It's going to be a 3v1 for Winter. Not really looking like much you can do. He has to one shot. He's still got two other players. Which at half health to deal with. Not going to have enough time to kill both of these players and get the defuse in unless he's able to make a godly clutch, which he is not able to do as Hoodie gets the kill onto him before he can even come close to defusing the bomb. Yes, he does win the pistol round after 3 9, so superstitious. That might be good for you. But CSU still does have a long way to go before they can come back. This comeback, if they're able to make it, will be very strong and have to work extremely hard. Duke Lister would also have to start picking up a pace a little bit. He's not doing too terrible, but he needs to start picking up a little bit more few more kills. He's really having a great game as he's been doing in the past. Understandably, too, I mean, he's just dominant in past few games. He's probably a little burnt out. Those seven assists, though, really help him show that he's able to come in and get these assists. He's going to get the pick on the ice immediately. Fireball Wall's going to be going down. Not really going to affect CSU much as they're still going to push in the site and the bomb is going. They still have Blitz on the pyramid, so apparently could be caught by one of them. It's gonna get shot a little bit like Gonchis, but not really much gonna come out of it. Right, right now, Neon on. holding this flank, making sure that nothing is able to come through. See Blizzard trading out. Could he able to get a kill onto Arctic? As it is a 5v3 one right now, making it a 5v1. This could possibly be a flawless round yeah. for them. And it, that, that is exactly, exactly what, what it is. is. Something, Something that they really, really need right now. I mean, that is incredible why CSU win this round so convincingly after that first half. It's incredible to watch, actually. I mean, CSU really was not looking like him since that first half. And now, all of a sudden, after those first two rounds, like something has woken up. They really miss a communication. Well, the half still has a long way to go, but I mean, it's looking more and more like CSU. I will have to say, 3 9 curse, my beloved. It's awesome to see right now. Hopefully, they'll be able to keep up this momentum and continue to take rounds. I see on the other side right now. Might be able to get the pick onto him. Not sure quite yet as the Viper smoke goes down. Both the players walking right into it. Wow, CSU hot dog able to get that kill onto Icy. Doing a bit of damage. 4v3, making it a 4v2. from CSU once again clearing A site. The enemy KO is in mid. Meanwhile, Viper's extremely low. Blitz, one tap. It's a 2v2. A Winter could possibly catch a Neon, and he does. Hot Dog's going to go down from a crazy peak right there. Winter coming in really quickly with that push from doors. Hot Dog not exactly sure what to do. A spike is down on the other side of this A site. Slowly pushing in, trying not to make much noise. But is he going to be spotted by Winter? 
He is, and Hoodie goes down, bringing it 5 to 10. I'm trying to look for from CSU and it's sad to see them lose another round, but let's hope they can win another one. It's the only one they still have the money to buy, though, which is incredibly important. And watch a comeback from that last one. Drone. Okay. Lex, going to go into this fast push right now. Those black walls are going to be up front. Okay, so using this black wall on this round. Extremely important. Utility going on right now on this A site. The Viper pick going up, hopefully to defend this spike being planted. A 4v5. But he didn't get picked off by one of the CVU players. It's gonna matter. There's a lot of utility that the CVU needs to clear for it before they can get sight. CVU not having a whole bunch of guns right now. A couple of um, classics online. One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining as they know exactly where he is. Wes is gonna try and make a comeback, but it's not gonna work. Another round's gonna go the way to CVU. 11 to 5 right, right now, not looking super great. Gun here. Possibly going for a B push instead of the continuous A that we have been seeing going on in this map. For some reason, this A site has been getting a lot of love. I mean, we've seen the Viper Wall that gets set up at A over time. I mean, it is extremely useful and extremely good Viper Wall. Cuts off a lot of line of sights and makes plants in A site really easy. This Viper ult going online on the enemy team, trying to keep them from coming and pushing into this B site. Deciding to fall back. CSU Hot Dog, on the other hand, does have his ult, but he could possibly run into Winter right here. Moving very quietly, not wanting to give away his location. A blind comes in. CSU Hot Dog goes down. Suplas are able to get the kill onto Gunches. Yes, the back is up against the wall. They really do not have much to work with right now. He's, he's back in the off so because the super is together. Super are not really having the most game so far. She's gonna need to pop out the kills, and he does right there. He's getting an amazing kill on the one jet. Incredible job from Super here. It seems as though Viper is coming in on the flank. Hopefully, they, they check behind them, and we needs to reload. 30 seconds left. Super are able to get the third kill before Blitz trades it. Knowing that is that he's behind them. Was he ending with the shotgun of the judge? Wow, it's extremely toxic, honestly. Match at that point. point. That's gonna be match point for CSU. For CSU. Oh, CV. My apologies. The names get confusing. You can't blame us. CSU is gonna have the money to pull by this round, but it's gonna be looking extremely worrisome. Seven rounds in a row just to tie it up. And then nine on the one match. It's definitely difficult to watch right now, as this could very you much be the play, end right now. Play. Hopefully, it will not be. Action finally going on mid, which we haven't seen a lot of. Ice able to get this kill down as Gon or Gonchez able to get the other kill. Last two players in CS2 are going to be towards the main Viper Wall. So we're just going to pop us all on the site and bomb down. But he does have his ult, let's see how he does with it. Yeah, we get a one pick on the ice, he's gonna get traded by Gonchez right here. Hey, was gonna be uh, trading back and forth with shots with Gonchez. It's gonna be him and Pate versus the world. Pate's gonna be able to get the shot onto Arctic right there. Now Pate's gonna get another one on the Gonchez. This game's gonna be peeking. Supless is gonna get another kill on the Blitz. Blitz is gonna be Winter versus Pate. 
And Soup Blizzard, is he going to be able to win this? It's not really looking like it, though. All Last they have to do is play standing. Time Watch. is going to get the first pick on Soup Blizzard. It's going to be Pate versus Winter in a 1v1 situation. Time is against Winter, though, right now. He's going to have to flash. He's going to have to push. And it does not look like he's going to have enough time. He's going to get a halfway. He's going to get picked up by Pate. Pate's going to win the round for them. A great round from Pate. Pate getting those three kills was really crucial to the way this round went. Um, CSU able to play another round before it goes to match point. Incredible 4 to 2 from CSU. We'll need another round of the board. Really good job. CSU is going to have a timeout. Extremely useful one right here. Extremely good timing. I have a minute to figure things out. I mean, that is a really good round to start a timeout on. I mean, you do have some momentum right there. You're going to have a little bit of your confidence back. And maybe you can look at the team and go, okay, listen, we need to start thinking about how we can do this differently. You definitely want them to be in a good mindset right now as we go into this timeout. CSU really going to have to work their asses off to get back and make it a tie. Yeah, definitely for sure, but I mean, I could see CSU do it. CSU is a really well team, a uh, well organized team, and extremely passionate players in that team that are willing to do what they need to do to win these games. I could definitely see CSU being able to mount six rounds back with that, and it's my hope that they can do so. This timeout having 15 more seconds left for them to be able to connect or collect their thoughts, find out some strategies, and be able to get back into the right mindset and be able to take this map possibly from CVU. Not looking too great though, but hopefully we will be able to make a comeback and watch CSU clutch this up. Yes, you can push these back. Black wall CV is already gonna be down, so we have to in this play. I'm going to go and figure out see what's going on. Two players so on this site right now. Hoping to push in as quickly as possible before more come. Chamber with the AWP. It seems as though they tricked them and are rotating back to this A site. Two AWPs online for CVU. I mean, neither team's going to have smokes if they do for the A, so, I mean, honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea for CSU. It does seem like this jet is aware of possibly flanking. It does make you wonder if she's going to be able to get a pick. She's going to get one on the hot dog, another on the soup lizard. Is she going to be able to hit the third? A. Like, oh, no! Oh, no. Yeez is going to hit an incredible shot in the Gonchez right there. But that's going to be a lot of damage done to CSU. Winter is going to be playing on the pyramids currently at the A site. He's going to spot the dart and take it out. So the nade and slow down CSU advance. Sova so ult actually being cancelled by this um 30 seconds left. You tell from KO. We go for the plant. Fake it though. Once again. Go for the... KO's not gonna commit though. He's gonna take a little bit of damage from Sova Dart right there. But he's gonna take up Blitz, but one is gonna get the refrag onto him. It's gonna be a 2v3 favor of CV. We able to get the kill onto Winter, watching this backside for what? Or Winter, sorry, figuring out where both players now are. Not going to connect the shots. The Weez is going to be a one v one. Hate versus the Silva player right here. It's going to have enough time. It's looking like it's going to be a round for CSU. It's going to have to be. CSU is going to be able to get the final kill, and another round goes in their direction. An incredible job from them. That was an amazing clutch right there, playing for time as much as they could, fighting back and forth. Definitely intense. Incredible round so far from CSU, doing a great job trying not to come up. There still is hope for the team to win this. It's going to take a miracle, but they believe in miracles. Pay once again with this ult for Viper. Neon with the same ult. Sov on the enemy team, also having an ult. KO Knife not spotting anyone. But it looks like these um, players are coming through hallway. Goncha is able to get Hoodie down. Blitz able to get Hot Dog. Super are going to trade back into Ice and Blitz right there, though, making a 3v3. Goncha does look like he's going to... And this Viper ult coming online. Same with the Sova ult. Sova currently stuck. 
Viper goes down, meaning the ult will drop. One enemy remaining. I'm getting an incredible shot. The Wii is going to be it for CF2. It's going to be Super Zerg versus Curry. He's going to get spotted. He's going to get knifed. He's going to take a lot of damage. Jeffrey's punching over and Winch is going to get the kill on the Super Zerg. And sadly, that's going to be GG for CSU. The match goes to CVU. Uh, two to one. CVU takes this round. These were great games. Um, I'm really happy to be able to see how this went. CSU worked their ass off, and so did CVU. Really a great match to watch. Incredible players from both teams, and you know, at the end of the day,
going right into Haven. We definitely see a little, several things different from what the Varsity would play. We see Sova possibly being picked by both teams here. Hey, actually, can I borrow that computer so I can put um, the chat up? Okay, I'll just plug it in. I don't need like the, I just need the Ethernet, huh? Yeah, I just need the Ethernet. I don't need like the keyboard and mouse and everything. Would Would you mind pulling it up for me, or do you want me to? Okay, thank you so much. Oh. Select your agent. Pull this for me. Now we see CSU defending. CVU starting off attacking. Still not seeing a Sage come into the composition, which is pretty interesting to me since usually Sage is something you really want to see on this map. Now this is our JV team's first match. It'll right be really there. interesting to see how they go about this and really how they're going to play today. About there. Going right in, we see that CVU is going with this A push. Not sure if they're going to push aggressively yet or not. Seems as though a fast push separating onto different sides. CSU, on the other hand, really going through mid to be able to spread out so quickly through this map. Obviously seeing now that they are going A. Spike planted. Spike goes, goes down quite quickly as Maverick runs Enemy right attack. into um, Rito's bullets. Basher holding this flank. Last player standing. Now, instability all alone right here. Gonna have to be able to kill these two and be able to defuse the spike. Unable as PSX gets him down. First round goes to CB. Um, you. Time to mobilize my pack. This time going for a C push. Once again, JV, um, CSU going straight into mid. It's really interesting to see how these two teams play so differently and how it works out for each of them. Subadrome coming through the Astro smoke, trying to get a pick of what is exactly going on. Multiply and fold, able to get two players down in a 3v4 right now. Last player standing. Second round goes to CVU once again. These pistol rounds really just not letting up. Eco-wise, we see CVU has a lot of money to spend. Meanwhile, CSU, they're comfortable. Not really. We're definitely going for a buy here for CSU. Meanwhile, um, CBS, or CBS, CVU really wants to... Um, be able to save as much as they can. Being Let's able go. to use this economy for later rounds, that'll really help them.
these two teams have a good idea of what is going on with each other as they've played each other once before we started streaming this um, match. CSU taking the first victory. John catching sight of Rethos right here. Maverick holding A. Spike down, actually, not picking it up yet. Still deciding on where they want to push. Could easily go into a C push as they John is here friend. all alone. John catching glimpse of three players rushing through garage right here. Astra starts going down. John gets Astra. Able to teleport out of the way. Pushing garage with insensibility. John able to get one kill. Fold getting the trade onto insensibility. Basher playing his Sova, using his drone, actually backing away from this drone, relying on the dart to see what's going on. Sight still, or er, spike still left. down mid, 30 seconds left on the clock. Maverick and your goth girl run into each other, but we're not going to have time to be able to plant the spike. Going in quickly, Basher's blind, able to get one, one. Enemy remaining. not the second, Last but they don't have enough standing. time to plant, I'm not, I don't think. A. Actually, they do. Spike planted. John, right here, facing off against your goth girl. Face your fear! Fade ult going online. Being able to not hear Philip what's going on, being able to be tracked. John able to get the third kill of the match and defusing the spike. First round finally goes to CSU. No fireworks today, I'm afraid. That works. Once again, it goes. It looks like CVU is going for this A site push. Cool P actually watching mid. Definitely not putting too much utility out there right now. Fade Yule's using hers. Maverick holding this right here. Fade not checking her corners. This trigger control he has right here. Able to get your goth girl down. One enemy remaining. Down, Wall goes up. A flawless victory coming from CSU. What a great thing to see. Stop them, please. Thank you. Gotta go. CSU Maverick able to get this first pick onto Multiply. Dashing out of the way. Six HP, nine bullets. One enemy remaining. Waiting flawless. for someone to make a move. Another flawless victory coming in from CSU. Back to back is exactly what we want to be seeing right now. Once again, these CSU players spreading out on these sites while um, CVU tends to group together whenever they push these sites. Something different, which we didn't see the last you match. Cosmic Divide coming up line, trying to clear site as quickly as possible, rushing in, not having to worry about watching this garage right here. I've got your trail. Pete's still going in to make sure it's clear. Trap destroyed. Last Spike player down. standing. Spike down, 
Once again, another round goes to CSU. These rounds are going quite quickly. As soon as CSU gets the chance, they go in, take these kills, and defuse the spike. Or sometimes even get the spike down. Not even having to worry about um, defusing it. You want to CD play? Let's definitely play. Definitely more spread out right now. Not committing just yet. Spike seems to be going down mid though. <clears throat> Playing very carefully. Without pulling them in. Astra um, utility coming in from insensibility. Really great. Definitely Need that showing that they have power over this mid site right here with all the utility online. Once again, CVU right still there. not committing right yet to where they want to go. Cool Pete holding this um, C site with his Torty Force. Sovadart comes through, but gets destroyed before it can actually signal what is actually going on here. Ability in this you. smoke, able to get your goth girl down. Multiply right on the other side. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. No spike down just quite yet. Trying to get control of this B site. Got plenty of astral util going on, along with the jet smoke. John holding garage right Ten here. Seconds left. Unable to get the kill on the fold as fold gets him with the sheriff. Rethos going down, but not without getting a trade first. Found them. The fifth, um, sorry, the seventh round goes to CSU as they're now 5 2. Definitely not giving much, um, room for a CVU to work with at the moment. This time, CVU definitely deciding to stick more close together as they push into garage. Or sorry, not garage, onto the same side. Jet ult coming online. Cool P able to get Maverick down. Pushing Basher back. Making him fall back. Wanting to save. Not wanting to go down just yet. Rethos able to get Basher down. A 3v5 going down right now. As Multiply gets the plant down. Spike planted. John holding his heaven right here waiting for someone to push so he can get this op shot onto them. Being missed by the Rolling Thunder. John able to get one kill. Missing the second. He goes down. Now, CVU takes another map, or another round under their belt. Again, going for this A push definitely seems like they tend to favor this, but they're also able to quickly rotate around whenever need be. West with the, or with the breach, sorry. A lot of things going on in this A long right here. Not pushing up just yet. Maverick sitting right there on the neon waiting to push. Maverick goes down, but he gets the trade before he does. Bashard West on this site. Sensibility so close by. 
finally pushing onto the site, getting a little bit of damage done by oh, um, West. West able to get the first kill, going in for a blind for the second, unable to connect. Going in for a stun here. And sensibility finally rotating onto this A site. Holding it down. 4v2 situation going on with West actually being quite low. CVU deciding to rotate and of course left. CSU seems to be catching a whiff of that. We have to remember that John is still on the C site where it seems that they are going for. Holding Double this garage ready. right here will be Z very important. Right. Able to get the first, not able to connect on the second as Multiply gets him down. Ten seconds left. Multiply planting the spike, spike with planted. six seconds left on the clock. It is a 3v1. It's not looking too great right now. West Damn able to get this kill. No damage done. Sixth round goes to um, CSU. See, CVU is currently having trouble adjusting to these site changes so quickly and being able to come in and hold the site. I think for the past two rounds, they've had to rotate out. Standing ahead. Right here. Once again, this team is kind of spread ar along the place. CVU, I mean. The point site drone. seems to be going in the direction Enemy of A, up. but they get spotted by the Sova drone from Basher. Maverick able to get the first One kill. Enemy remaining. Able to get two. Spike down A. One player remaining on CVU's team. This guy alone with the spike. Still not sure which site is clear just yet as we see CSU grouping around mid. It seems as though she will be pushing garage, but the problem is... John is sitting right here in garage, waiting for Fold to cross through these doors. Actually falling left. back. Not sure directly where Fold is going. Even though if Fold does decide to push the seaside, destroyed. it'll be difficult. Fold coming in with the blind, unable to connect with anything. 12 seconds remaining on the clock. Will he be able to get the spike down? Seconds left. John right there with that headshot. Really, Fold didn't even care to check those sites. Just wanted to get that spike down as quickly as possible, but it did not work out in his favor. A gift. CVU deciding to switch it up from these um, A pushes and decide to look, and it looks like it is going to go to C. Not much util going on just yet. A jump peek coming from John. The haunt coming out from Fade. They found my trap. Unable to get any shots let um, onto these players. Very low bullets. Hey, Having to be forced to reload right here. Not being struck by the Fade ult. Spike planted. Still playing this back corner right here. Not ready to you put the mid push it. yet. Cosmic Divider is on. This can definitely add some difficulty onto how CSU will push onto the site. Not knowing what is behind this Cosmic Divide, divide right here. Not knowing that they are actually along um, on C-Long. Going in with the trimmer just to be case, or just to be sure. Just in case.
case anything were to go wrong. Cosmic Divide going on once again. This could add some difficulty for um, ZVU getting the, simple, er, the site back. Unable to make a connect. Your goth girl getting your goth girl getting the final kill of that round. Last player standing. Both of them go round down to the, the spike. Now let's take a look at the economy. Right now, it seems as though CVU is struggling quite a bit. They're still able to buy right here their ARs, but unable to commit to a full shield. Meanwhile, on the other hand, CSU has money to spend. Maverick kind of struggling a little bit, but I'm sure that his teammates can make up for it with their four thousand dollars. This will be important. We haven't seen many save rounds going on right now. Not feeling as though it's needed. Once again, going for this mid push. Seeing what we can do here. Cool P able to get Westhog down for the first blood of this round. Rico's pushing into the site along with John. John able to get two down. Are standing. Three could possibly make it a 4K. Quite low though. Site is or spike is down. Not sure if Cool Pete is going to be able there to come and clear this site. Cool Pete getting John Maverick now knowing where Cool Pete is coming from <laughs> with the neon ult online. Not sure how this can go. He teleports out of the way, desperately needing that reload. Not getting spotted by this dart here, which is really interesting to see. Not checking. Checking this corner, but Basher gets the best of him and makes it an 8-4. Eight, eight, Switching sides. Now, as we switch sides, we can see if CSU can continue to keep this momentum up. Because if they win this match, they win the game since they've already won a match earlier against CBU. Teleport's ready. We see Astro with the spike going, looking to go see. Meanwhile, the rest of the team tries to stick by this garage here. This could be very easily changed though. Lighting. This pistol round will be really important to see how it goes and see the momentum that each team is gonna carry into this second half. West coming in with a stun. Haunt revealing four player locations here. CSU Maverick able to get the pick on to multiply for the first blood. Fold standing in that Astra smoke right there, but deciding to jump back. Two players sitting around this corner. Cool P able to get a pick onto Maverick. Basher to fold. Last player standing. CSU John takes the final kill for this round, and then another round goes to CSU. Honestly, CSU is looking absolutely incredible right now this match. I'm not exactly sure how it looked last game, but I know for a fact that we won. Seems as though CSU not exactly um, knowing where to push quite yet. Seeming to go for mid. Economy, CSU has their awesome. save round, and so does, um, well, not necessarily save since they mostly bought full shields. Um, CVU, on the other hand, not deciding to buy any shields at all. St sticking with a classic and a shorty. A lot of activity going on to this B site right here. Sensibility, able to get the plant down. Two Astra Smokes blocking off the rest of the world from this. John and Maverick both able to One get some enemy down. Remaining. West Dog able to get that last kill. A flawless round. That has been three flawless victories so far for CSU. An A push 
Not sure if we've seen that from CSU on the attacking side just yet, but it will be interesting to see how it goes as two players on the enemy team are sitting on this A site, one on B, the other two on C. This B site really allows for a quick rotation. Trevor! A Tremor coming in, immediately alerting that they are pushing onto this A site and they are not afraid to show their aggression right now. Flash out! Multiply able to get down Maverick as she rushes in. Noticing that someone is in heaven, they tend to go for that. West able to get that utility kill onto Rikos. A lot of things going on right now, so hard to keep up. Shock Dart coming in, unable to connect with anyone. Bold able to get the first kill. And another round goes to CBU, bringing it back. Team Ace. Great to see a Team Ace coming from them so far. Going for the C site push, it seems like. Problem is there's only, oh, never mind. There's two players here. Definitely with a lot of util. One holding garage, one holding C. Maverick able to get pulled down through a wall bang. Your goth girl on the other side of this wall. Not getting flashed and able to get West down. Building plants. Uh, player standing. John able to get the 2k right there. One player remains, and that is Rethos. Spike planted. One more point away from having his ult. Doesn't seem as though he's gonna fully commit. He might back up and just try to save this round. Blocking site. Seems as though he's actually going for a push, which is interesting to see. Able to get one kill before he is put down by insensibility. Revealing area. One more round is needed until match point for CSU. Even with this change of sides, you're still able to see CSU fully dominate right now. Three players on CSU have Thank their um, ultimates up. We'll definitely see if this is used this round or if they decide to save it for later. We have an Odin online from Cool Pete, which is very interesting to see. I never thought I'd see one of those, especially so early in the season. Cool Pete along with other teammates holding on to this A site, a realizing that CSU will be pushing here. On the other hand, your goth girl continues to hold C site and sensibility, possibly going in with the rotate, it seems like, knowing that this A site is full. It's important to realize that the cosmic divide is still online and can be used at any second. I'm covering it, taking that back. Just figuring out when to use it is when it becomes important. Right there. West able to get the first kill of this round. So things have been moving slowly with less than 40 seconds left on the clock. They need to get this spike down and they need to get it down quickly. Going back for this A site rotate, tricking um, CVU into thinking that they actually rotated right onto a site right such as B or C. Right there. Cosmic Divide oh, going online. Feet. Rolling Thunder as well. Unable to hit anyone, though. Spike goes Spike down. Planted. Astra coming in with these stars. This cosmic divide really helping, but it it's now going down, leaving them quite blind. Wolfie cool drops down with the Odin, able to get a kill One onto remaining. West. 1v1 going on right now. Taps the bomb. As Basher gets him down, bringing us to match point for CSU. Match point. 
really not looking like CVU is going to be able to bring this back. CSU really having a great hold on these attacks, knowing right when to rotate, right when to push. It's really working out in their favor right now. We still have the Neon and Chamber ult online right now. Not sure if they're going to use them quite yet. Cool Pete, on the other hand, taking full advantage of his ultimate being ready to use. Cool Pete able to get down west. Try to clear as much space as he can. Rushing in, getting the kill onto Multiply. One enemy remaining. Before he goes down. Your goth girl on the other side of the smoke where Basher is. Able to get two down, a 1v1 going on right now. Fade, ultimate still online, knowing where this Asher is. Your goth girl gets the kill and brings it to 12-6. Honestly, that round went very quickly at the end there. 22 seconds to spare. As soon as the spike went down, they were able to push in and get there immediately. Now we can see what CSU is thinking. They definitely want to finish this game out as quickly as possible, not wanting to um, go to a second match, which I'm sure is not going to happen. John pulls the 24th online. Once again, and Sensibility has the spike. That's a consistent thing we've seen right now, especially since he's playing such a, a character like you Ashra. You want to play? Let's play. A face-off could be going on on this C-Long site with, once again, Cool Pete with the Odin. John missing both of these shots as Cool Pete is just too quick. Location now revealed for John. Aiming a little too high, it seems like. Just barely missing. Two bullets left in his ultimate. Uh. West Dog, on the other hand, able to get one down. That second, bringing it to a five. Me too. A Bucky here, which is interesting to see. Able to do a lot of damage to Fold right there. Not able to finish him off just quite yet, though. Calling back onto this ace knight right here. And Sensibility rushes onto this ace site, signaling that his teammates need to fall back. Enemy sky extremely low right now. One enemy remaining. A 3v1 going on right now. John holding right here. Cool Pete with this Odin. Actually trading it for a Vandal as Maverick gets the final kill of this game and CSU wins the match. There really wasn't much competition in my opinion going on here. CSU really had some clean plays.